Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. One Piece. Check in from the Undersea Prison. Chapter 81. Hum. When Whitebeard heard this, he suddenly became interested, sat up straight, and took the newspaper from the pirate. The newspaper was from the World Economic News Agency, which seemed to be a recently rising newspaper. It often exposed many shocking news, so its reputation spread quickly. Newgate first confirmed the source of the newspaper. After all, there are many unscrupulous merchants who will make up some exaggerated headlines to induce people to buy, but the content is mostly fabricated and unreliable. After confirming that the news in the newspaper is trustworthy, he began to read. What caught his eye was the eye-catching title marked in big red. Defeat the Demon Killing Order. The Sinful Warden led the evil group to rescue the Devil's Heir. Further down, there was a bounty order for Shano and others. A young face, but the bounty is. Two billion baileys. Kulala, what a domineering kid. He can actually save people from Sengoku garb. Whitebeard looked at the newspaper in front of him and couldn't help laughing. Defeating the Demon Slayer Order. It was just a way for the newspaper to attract people. The Demon Slayer Order failed, but it didn't fail because of a direct defeat. Whitebeard still has his own judgment. Because as the leader of the New World, the Whitebeard pirates have a very developed intelligence system, and the deployment of the Navy's high-level officials can be transmitted to Whitebeard's ears in a very short time. After all, on this sea, if there is no developed intelligence system, the pirate group will disappear long ago when others are blocking their doorsteps without knowing it. Therefore, the Whitebeard pirates knew about the departure of the Navy fleet to Paradise a long time ago, and they could roughly guess that it was to capture Barrett. This is the foundation of the powerful forces that dominate the sea. I thought it was an easy task, after all, even a strong man like Golden Lion couldn't escape from Garp Sengoku, not to mention the childish kid Barrett. But I didn't expect such a strong man to show up halfway. Shano, it seems to be the little guy who defected from the undersea prison before. After the defection, the Whitebeard pirates held a banquet to celebrate the world government's big gaffe. I didn't expect that the guy who walked out of the prison could be so strong. The crew members under him are not good people either. If such a guy enters the new world, it will be troublesome. After reading the newspaper, Marco covered his forehead and shook it, looking listless. Kulala, I'm looking forward to his coming to the new world. There haven't been newcomers in the new world for a long time. Whitebeard laughed heartily. In the new world now, monsters are crisscrossing and attacking constantly. But most of them are remnants of the rocks pirates, and they are very familiar with each other. They have fought for decades, and they can recite each other's curses clearly. This is also one of the reasons why Whitebeard is at ease. Anyway, no one can beat him, and there are only so many words to curse him. It's boring, and he has no interest in beating them. It's different when new people come. Those new people who have been advancing all the way from paradise must be severely hit in the new world. Let them see the real horror of the sea, and then they can use both soft and hard methods to bring them under their command and strengthen their own strength. This is also a major force in the new world, and one of the main sources of fresh blood. Captain Shano would be very excited if he knew that he was targeted by Whitebeard. If I don't go to find you, you will come to me. In Captain Shano's view, the new world is a huge monster spawning cage. Oh, 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 oh. Where did this little devil come from? He actually has such strength. On the ghost island, Kaido, with two horns on his head, sat cross-legged on the ground, drinking wine in big gulps and looking at the newspaper in his hand. Under the headline of the newspaper, there were photos of two big golden giants fighting each other. I really don't know how the World Economic News Agency got these photos. Oh, oh, oh. The mythical beast fruit. I really want to recruit him. Kaido who loves to collect various animal-type ability users, was also excited to see Shanuo who could transform into a big Buddha. As the ability user of the blue dragon fruit, he recognized it as the ability of the mythical beast at a glance. Moreover, the image of the Buddha of warring states and Shanuo is quite different, so Kaido does not think that this is the same fruit, maybe just the ability is similar. There is no conclusion in the newspaper. After all, it is outrageous that Morgans can get the photos, and he has not yet touched the devil fruit illustration. Lord Kaido, when they enter the new world, should we contact them? Flame disaster, Jin, who was standing by, asked. 
One of them was a descendant of the demon tribe, and the other was a descendant of the Lunaria tribe. I wonder if they would feel anything strange when they saw, Wu, and, done. Gudong Gudong Gudong, forget it. I don't have the energy to take care of them now. The two billion bounty was enough to get away from that old guy Sengoku, which shows that he is very strong. Now the progress of Wano country is all within our plan, but that idiot from the Kazuki family is still very strong, and it is not appropriate to make another strong enemy. That guy is related to Roger and Whitebeard. The affairs of Wano country must be completely blocked, and Roger's remnants and Whitebeard should not be invited. Although Kaido was almost unable to stand after drinking, he analyzed the situation without any ambiguity, and calculated the chess game shrewdly. None of the four emperors who became the future were reckless men who only knew how to take action. I understand, Lord Kaido. In the Totland Sea, the Big Mom pirates have successfully eliminated and annexed the pirates that originally occupied this area. Charlotte Linlin proclaimed herself the Queen of the Kingdom of Totland and established the 10,000 Kingdoms. Um, a powerful little devil. If you combine with him, you will definitely give birth to a powerful offspring. At this time, Lin Lin's figure has begun to gain weight, and her appearance has begun to change towards a hideous one. Mom, it's not easy to deal with such a guy. Perospero, the minister of candy and the eldest son of the Charlotte family, reminded him. Perospero, do you think I'm not his opponent? Charlotte Lin Lin widened her ferocious eyes with heavy makeup and turned her head to look at Perospero. Mom, Mom, that's not what I meant. We just took over the Totlin Sea. If we go to the entrance of the New World to intercept him now, it will affect our rule. Perospero was sweating coldly and waved his hand to show that he didn't mean that. You have a point, but I must get his three pets. Bang! Charlotte Ling Ling slammed the newspaper on the table. The bounty for the three King Kongs appeared in front of Perospero. Above the Grand Line, an unknown airspace. At this time, the sky has been shrouded in darkness, and everything is silent. Only in the middle of the sky, above the clouds, there is a bright light and shadow. That is Captain Shano's war fortress. At this time, the square is very lively. A grand banquet is held here to celebrate the bounty announced by the Navy. For the Navy, issuing a bounty means letting people in the world know that such a criminal exists. If you have the ability, you can hunt them in exchange for the bounty, but this is for some pirates with low bounties. For example, with a bounty of tens of millions or hundreds of millions, few people will go to hunt them. So for pirates, the Navy's bounty order is more like the official recognition of their strength. There is nothing more worth showing off than the recognition of the enemy. In fact, the bounty is composed of many factors. It is not necessarily that the high bounty is better than the low bounty. But the bounty pirates don't care about this. The high bounty is awesome. It's more face. Therefore, all the cadres of the entire pirate group are on the list this time, and the lowest bounty is 5,000 million. The crew members are also very happy about this. But some people are very unhappy, such as Shiryu, who can't accept that he is the one with the lowest bounty in the group. So he refused Mahawk and Crocodile's invitation to drink and came to the back of the castle alone, smoking a cigar silently. I didn't expect that I was the first to go out to sea with Captain Shano, but now I am the one at the bottom. The sea is really more interesting than that dark prison. Shiryu didn't sink or feel sad because of this matter, he was just a little unhappy. There are so many people stronger than him, which will only arouse his desire to fight more. Shiryu, are you hiding here and crying secretly? Captain Shano suddenly floated out from behind the side wall and said something that Shiryu was puzzled. What nonsense are you talking about? Shiryu retorted angrily. At this moment, he really wanted to chop down the wall in front of him. Ah, I'm kidding. Captain Shanuo quickly raised his hands and surrendered. I'm looking for you for a serious matter. Remember last time I said I'd find you a fruit that's more suitable for you. I just got a fruit these two days, human human fruit, fantasy beast species, Shira form. While speaking, Captain Shanuo took out a black apple-shaped devil fruit from behind with dark purple lines on it. Zailu's attention was instantly attracted by this fruit. He felt that this devil fruit was attracting him with an unknown force. It was as if this fruit existed just for him and was born because of him. Shira, because of the well-known example of Sengoku, 
Captain Shanuo and Zailu could both imagine what the fantasy beast species of the human-human fruit would look like. Oh, yes, a bloodthirsty person from hell who enjoys killing in blood, that's probably it. How about it, do you want to try it? Captain Shanuo handed the devil fruit to Shiliu. I can feel that I fit in very well with this fruit. Thank you very much, Captain. I will be your sharpest knife. Shiliu was not polite at all. He took the devil fruit and bit it, and the purple juice splashed. Even a cold-blooded person like Shiliu was tortured by the unpalatable taste after eating the devil fruit. How is it, how does it feel? Captain Shanuo asked expectantly. Ding, Shiliu of Rain's loyalty reaches 100, and he gets a system reward and awakens Shira's ghost energy. Note, a variant of the domineering color domineering, with damage blessing. The stronger the killing intention, the stronger the ghost energy. Ding, the saber, thunderstorm, gradually merges with the Shira demon in the devil fruit and becomes a conscious supreme sword. Ding, get physical fitness and domineering strengthened again. The sudden system prompts caught Captain Shano off guard. Shiliu, who was already close to 100 loyalty, succeeded in the capture because he gave him this very attractive fruit. Shiliu may not know that part of his strength that has become stronger is not all from the devil fruit, but it doesn't matter, the result is also very good. Feeling, it feels so good. At this moment, Shiliu has laughed crazily, and the cigar has fallen to the ground. He has lost his personality management. Is this the feeling of power? Shiliu looked down at his hands, opened and clenched them twice, and felt the changes. Common characteristics of animal type fruits, that is, after the ability user eats it, the ability user's physical body will be immediately improved, not to mention that it is a mythical beast species, plus the system is strengthened. So Shiliu only feels that he can beat 10 of his last second. Becoming stronger is of course a good thing, but don't be too conceited. In my eyes, you haven't changed much from your previous self. Looking at the crazy and almost broken Shiliu, Captain Shanuo quickly spoke out to suppress him, otherwise he would really be so arrogant that he didn't know how high the sky was. Really, Captain, I want to try my current strength. I really can't do anything about you. Okay, let's go to the small garden and try. Using the power of the floating fruit, Captain Shanuo directly floated the ground under Shiliu's feet, and the two flew to the small garden one after the other. Don't disturb the people who are still having a banquet. But even so, Mahawk was still keenly aware of the changes behind the castle. In his perception, a brutal and evil breath suddenly appeared behind the castle, similar to Shiliu's breath, but even worse. And the trembling sword, Yi, at his waist seemed to tell him that there were his kind nearby. Is it another supreme sword? While drinking with Crocodile, he looked around and found that Captain Shano and Shiryu were not there. Mahawk roughly guessed what it was. There was another powerful opponent. It was interesting. Hey, Mahawk, drinking is not serious, Crocodile reminded Mahawk impatiently. Come on, let me see what Shira looks like. In the open space in the center of the small garden, Captain Shano looked at Shiryu opposite and said. I can't wait, Captain. Buzz. Shiryu was covered with black mist. Even in the moonlight, the black mist made people feel dark and deep, as if it would destroy everything covered. A terrifying breath gushed out, and under the black mist, a black and red figure appeared. The black body was dotted with blood that kept flowing. Blood kept dripping, swallowed up by the surrounding black fog and disappeared. A Shira from hell, evil, cruel, and bloodthirsty. There was no flesh and blood in the area where the heart was, only the ribs were exposed and a heart that kept beating. Exposing the weakness of the heart. No, this is the strongest defense. Shi Lu felt the changes in himself and muttered to himself. In the dual arena of the small garden, a figure that was as dark as the abyss even in the dark night stood there. The moonlight shone down, but could not illuminate the figure from hell. The black fog covered it, and it was unclear what shape it was. Hey, Shiryu, how do you feel? Captain Shanuo could not see through the black fog for a moment. And did not know what shape Shiryu had become inside. Captain, I feel unprecedentedly powerful now. Can I use you to test the knife? Shiryu's crazy voice came from the black fog. It was not known whether it was because of the transformation of the phantom beast fruit. Or because the voice was blocked by the black fog. Shiryu's originally low voice became even hoarser to Captain Shanuo.
It was as if his throat was about to break. Although Shiryu said he was asking Captain Shanuo, Shanuo could feel that Shiryu was controlling his killing intent at the moment. It seemed that he could not control the overwhelming killing intent for a while. Come on, Shiliu, let me see the power this fruit brings you. Wow, as Captain Sha Nuo's voice fell, a dark figure with blood red suddenly rushed out of the black fog. Captain Sha Nuo finally saw the full appearance of this monster. What a terrible monster image. While saying this, his hands did not slow down at all, and the dead wood, hanging on the left side of his waist flew out by itself. It fell on Captain Sha Nuo's right hand. Dang, thunderstorm, hit the blade of dead wood, heavily. The two supreme swords were trembling slightly in the collision at this moment. Thunderstorm, seemed to be excited about becoming the supreme sword. As a companion, dead wood, seemed to express congratulations to thunderstorm, and also had the momentum to crush it. The famous swords of the older generation also have their own pride. Nice power, Shiryu. Captain Shanuo saw Shiryu put his other hand on the back of the knife to resist his own strength, and for a moment he could actually resist it. Seeing this, he couldn't help but say, Captain, that's not all. Shiryu responded with a grin, as if there was a surprise for Captain Shanuo. Wow, four slender and strong arms suddenly grew out of Shiryu's back. Four hands made a hand knife shape. Armament hockey suddenly covered it. Going straight to Captain Shanuo's face. What a monster. Captain Shanuo was really surprised to see this, but two fists could not beat four hands, and the dead wood in his right hand suddenly exerted force. Directly bounced Shiryu out. Ha 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 ha, Shiliu, one sword can't satisfy you anymore. Do you want to be a six sword swordsman? Shano teased Shiliu. At this time, Shiliu was flying upside down in the air, with only his right hand holding thunderstorm. The other five hands always seem to be missing something. If it's six swords, it will be faster to cut people. Shiliu stabilized his body in the air, responded to Captain Sha Nuo's teasing, and looked at Sha Nuo who was still on the ground, holding the handle of Thunderstorm with six hands at the same time. Thunderstorm said that he had never been treated like this. But one sword, it will be more fun to cut people. Boom, a burst of black mist suddenly burst out of Shira Shiliu's body. Before it was covered, the black mist all rushed to the blade of thunderstorm. The surface of thunderstorm was covered with black mist, as if it had turned into a black sword. Boom, boom, the exposed heart suddenly beat violently. As the heart beat, Shira Shiliu's inky black figure gradually began to glow with blood. Blood mist began to appear around him, as if the blood in his body was evaporating. The blood was like the black mist before, wrapping around the blade like a dragon sucking water. The entire thunderstorm turned into a blood-red demon blade. The outside was wrapped in an unknown black mist. Try this, my overlord color. A huge projection appeared in the sky behind Shiliu. The dark sky was lit up by the red blood light. The projection also had six arms, looking down at everything on the sea like an ancient god. His ferocious face showed his vicious nature. His cruel eyes stared at Sha Nuo, as if he wanted to remember him and then chase him until the sky collapsed and the earth broke. Captain Sha Nuo looked at the demon projection in the sky, and there was a slight sense of oppression in his heart. Ah, Shi Liu charged up and swung his strongest blow at this time. Shira, judgment of hell. Boom, a blood-red slash flew out. It split the air, making a loud noise that made everyone on the fortress cover their ears. They looked up and saw a huge blood-red flash appear above the small garden. It seemed to cut the small garden in half. That piece of the area turned completely bloody. Such a large-scale slash. Is it Shiryu? Mahawk also saw the battle scene in the small garden at this time. He didn't expect Shiryu to be able to perform such a powerful flying slash. Mahawk's dormant fighting spirit was rekindled. Such a momentum. Great, Shiryu. Captain Shanuo's whole body was reflected by the blood light, his expression was ferocious, and he shouted with a big grin. Sakura Ten flew out from his waist and fought side by side with his old partner, Deadwood. Captain Shanuo slightly bent his waist and began to accumulate power. His body was shining with golden light, offsetting the blood light covering the sky and the earth, and gradually the whole person turned into golden flashes. Beast Transformation Golden Body Arhat the body did not grow larger. 
Come and try my trick. Buddha Lion Power Thousand Cut Shock Wave. The two swords slashed wildly. In an instant, hundreds of golden sword lights flew out. Compared to the huge blood-colored slash, the golden slash wave seemed much smaller. The first golden slash touched the blood-colored slash, and it was cut through after resisting for a moment. But after the golden slash was broken, a strong shock wave burst out. Blast a gap in the huge red light. One attack, two injuries, but this happened in an instant, hundreds of slash waves swept across. The huge red slash quickly disappeared in the sky, and only dozens of slash waves were left. Boom, 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 the remaining attacks all hit Shiliu's Shira. The black fog burst out, resisting the incoming attack. Boom, 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 the strong sound of heartbeat spread throughout the island, and Captain Shaw Nuo felt that his heart seemed to be affected, and the blood in his body seemed to burst out of his body. HMPH, Captain Shaw Nuo snorted coldly, and the powerful domineering aura spread throughout his body, and the restlessness of his blood also calmed down. In the distance, Shiliu took all the blows, the black fog dissipated, and the whole person was filled with blood, but there was no scar on his body. Resisting damage by consuming blood. And you can mobilize the enemy's blood. What a terrible ability. The captain is still powerful and insurmountable. Shiliu exited the Shira form, and his face was a little pale at this moment due to excessive consumption of blood to defend against Captain Shanuo's attack. It's already very strong, Shiliu. In a few years, your name will definitely spread everywhere on the sea. Captain Shanuo said affirmatively. The next morning, everyone was still asleep. They were exhausted from the banquet yesterday and had a hangover. Yesterday, Shiryu and Captain Shano's fight made everyone feel the strong strength of the cadres again. The cadres improved their strength at an absurd speed. Compared with them, they seemed to be trash. In a burst of enthusiasm, they all rushed over to drink with Mahawk and the others, and then they all fell down as expected. Mahawk maintained an aristocratic schedule. Even if the banquet lasted until the middle of the night, he would wake up early and start the morning sword practice. With Mahawk's ultimate kendo talent and the self-discipline habit from childhood to adulthood, it is not unreasonable that he could become the world's greatest swordsman at the age of 30. He is much more talented than others, and he is the most ambitious one. Can't compare, can't compare. Mahawk slashed with his sword. At this time, the door of the medical hall of the Central Castle group opened. Barrett came out with bandages all over his body, twisting his neck with a crackling sound. Barrett who had a monster physique, had almost recovered at this moment, and his wounds were basically healed. The crew members in the medical hall were still sleeping soundly in their rooms or in the corners of a castle. Mahawk stopped the sword in his hand, and his sharp eagle eyes stared at Barrett. Barrett felt something in his heart, stopped shaking his neck, and turned his head to look at Mahawk standing in the distance with a knife. Barrett grinned and said arrogantly, I know you, you should be the second strongest person on this ship, if you can beat me, I will join you. The scene of being killed instantly by Shanuo before was still lingering in his mind, although he was seriously injured and exhausted at that time. But judging from Shano's performance on the deserted island, even if he was in his prime, he couldn't beat him. Barrett's heart was actually shaken, and he began to doubt whether it was right for him to walk alone on the sea. He also wanted to try the feeling of being in Roger's pirate group again. But being beaten up by the captain and then joining obediently was a bit too difficult for Barrett. Since he lost to the captain, he would defeat all his men. Let these guys know that he is just not as good as Shano, but he is much stronger than them. The arrogant Barrett doesn't think Mahawk will be his opponent. You know, even on the ship of the Pirate King. The right-hand man of the Pirate King. Pluto Rayleigh. Axeman Jabba. None of them are his opponents. It's just an unknown pirate group. As for the second person, it's better for him, Barrett, to be the second person. You are just as arrogant as Crocodile was back then. Mahawk spoke calmly, with no emotion in his eyes. But when Barrett heard this, he felt that Mahawk was mocking him. Crocodile, the guy who became famous for his draw with him. Now he is on this ship. Is this mocking him and Crocodile for being the same kind of people? How can that guy be compared with me? Barrett roared in anger but you didn't beat him. Mahawk made a helpless expression on his face, and his eyes made a puzzled expression with difficulty, and spread his hands to show that he didn't understand. 
So when a person who is always indifferent suddenly makes a joke, his lethality will definitely double. At this moment, Barrett was completely enraged. Ah, too long-winded. Barrett was instantly furious, and his figure suddenly popped out. Raising a huge fist, he went straight to Mahawk. Boom, ah, what's going on? Is it an earthquake? What the hell is going on? We're in the sky. Is it Whitebeard? I heard he is the user of the Tremor Tremor fruit. Whitebeard is in the new world. Will there be enemies in the sky? The people who were sleeping soundly suddenly felt the ground shaking and the castle began to shake. They were awakened from their sweet dreams, and they didn't know what happened. They hurriedly put on their equipment, picked up their weapons and rushed out. Everyone followed the sound and came to where Mahawk and Barrett were. This is already outside the castle complex. Obviously, Mahawk didn't want to destroy his own doorstep, so he led Barrett here. When people ran out of the castle, the battle here had come to an end. Mahawk coughed violently, and a mouthful of thick blood spurted out. He raised his left hand and gently wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, his eyes full of murderous intent staring straight at Barrett in the distance. Seeing Mahawk actually being injured, the crew members who came over exclaimed, Boss Mahawk is injured, is this guy so strong? Should we say that the person who deserves the captain's full rescue is really not simple? On the other hand, Barrett on the opposite side was silent at this moment, his fists clenched and trembling slightly, indicating that he was not as calm as he seemed. In front of him, invisible to everyone, a huge scar across the body was deeply imprinted on his body. The two were not fighting to the death, but just to compete, so after a simple test, they took out the strongest moves to bombard. Obviously, both of them were injured, but neither was fatal. If it was a life and death fight, the result would be difficult to determine. As for who would win and who would lose in this competition, both of them had made up their minds. The pride of the strong will never deny their failure. After Mahawk wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, he stood there calmly, staring at Barrett with his cold eyes, as if he didn't mind if the other party got angry and fought again. Barrett was silent, his expression was ferocious and terrible, he was not the opponent of this thin swordsman in front of him. Could it be that he was stronger than Silver's Rayleigh, known as the Pluto? Could it be that the right and left hands of the Pirate King were not as good as this young man? At this time, Barrett not only lost to Mahawk, but also Captain Shano's previous words kept harassing him. Do you really think you are Rayleigh's opponent? It turned out that he thought he could be on par with Rayleigh, but he didn't expect that Rayleigh was deceiving him like coaxing a child. Barrett was shaking with anger now. Mahawk didn't know what he was thinking, and thought he didn't have the temperament of a strong man, and was going to get angry and fight again. Mahawk twisted the sword. Enough, you win this time. Barrett growled, I'll keep my promise and join you. I'll be the strongest fighter on this ship. If you want to be the strongest, you still have to compete with those guys. They won't just recognize your status. Barrett laughed evilly. Ha, just defeat them all. Mahawk, you will be defeated by me too, and Rayleigh. I want to be the strongest man in the world. In this way, Barrett successfully joined Captain Shano's family. In this way, the pirate group has added another high-end combat force, and Barrett's potential is also terrifying. Even if Captain Shano's system does not open it for him, he can definitely grow into a four emperors if he drifts on the sea for ten years. You know, as a fruit ability user, Barrett was bound with sea stone shackles in the original work and imprisoned in the dark underwater prison LV-6. He was still able to improve his strength through his hard work in his 20-year prison life. This can only be done with terrifying perseverance. So if there is no system to help open it, the few people on the ship now, except Mahawk, no one can fight Barrett at this time. The title of, Devil's Heir, is the greatest recognition of his strength. Captain, according to the record pointer, we are about to arrive at Gaia Island. A navigator came to Captain Shano and reported the sailing situation. Hum, I see, it seems that Sky Island is nearby. Let's go to Gaia Island to replenish supplies later, and let everyone prepare. Captain Shanuo was eating, listening to the crew's report, and simply issued a few orders, and then continued to eat. Okay, Captain. The navigator left Captain Shanuo's room. In fact, for their pirate group, there is no need for a so-called navigator. Because they are all flying in the sky, and they just need to fly according to Captain Shanuo's instructions. 
there is no need to do anything. However, in order to make the voyage more ceremonial, Captain Shanuo still set up the position of navigator on the ship. The daily task is to watch the various record pointers in the navigator's room and then report to Captain Shanuo. In fact, it is more about telling other crew members their approximate location and the island they are about to land on. Chu, 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 I feel like this ship lacks a decent chef. The dishes cooked by these guys are not as delicious as mine. In fact, there are chefs on the ship, but they are all from the zombie army created by Moria. Some of them were chefs in their previous lives. But Captain Shano did not let them enter the kitchen. After all, these guys are dead and their bodies are full of rotten meat. If they accidentally fall into the pot, Captain Shano does not want to add extra food. So they can only eat the meals cooked by a group of rough guys every day. Gaia Island, Mogu Town Today's Mogu Town is still very lively. Since the beginning of the Great Pirate Era, the number of pirates has grown rapidly like a blowout. Mogu Town is originally a town where pirates gather, and the residents of the town have been dealing with pirates all year round. There is no boundary between justice and evil here, and some residents may have more lives in their hands than some pirates. This is how they survive on the sea. Right and wrong, black and white, are too clearly divided, and they can't get along here. A medium-sized double-track sailboat slowly sailed into the port. Several children immediately jumped out of the port and rushed to the side of the ship. In the process of pushing and shoving, several children were pushed into the water. Hey, 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 you little devils, we are notorious pirates, do you want to join us? An unusually tall figure appeared on the side of the ship. Even the children who were used to seeing strong men were speechless at this moment. Why are you silent? Are you scared by my momentum? Hey, 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 hey. Moria continued to tease the children. Under his evil face, he seemed to have an unknown kind side. Gudong, you pirates, this is Mogu Town. The pirates here must abide by certain rules. Otherwise, everyone will drive you into the sea together. One of the children plucked up the courage and pointed at Moria and shouted loudly. Ha, huh, what should we do? Moria covered his mouth in fear and asked the children in a pleading tone. Just pay me 1,000 baileys. I can take you to this island. What if we refuse to pay? Shiryu appeared beside Moria at this time, with a fierce look on his face, and the children below were almost scared to tears. No, if you don't give it to us, then we will run away. The children ran away. Ha, huh, even Shiryu couldn't help but exclaimed. What is this? I thought there would be 100,000 swordsmen jumping out. Evil ha 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 ha, didn't expect that even children would cheat. This island is as bad as the legend. Barrett's voice came from him from behind them. Since Barrett got on board, he also chose to follow his heart, and he found that everyone on this ship was indeed too strong. Because Captain Shano told him to take care of him first, and then start the one-on-one -on -one devil training for him. So Barrett didn't have time to challenge Crocodile and the others. The others were also busy practicing and ignored the newcomer. But Shiryu, who got the Shira fruit, took the initiative to find Moria, and the two had a fierce battle in the small garden. As for the result, no one knows, and no one of them told anyone. Captain Shano happened to be drunk that day, so he didn't know much. But since Shiryu got the fruit of the fantasy beast species, if Moria didn't have the high attack skills to kill him in seconds, just the physical fitness ability of the fantasy beast species to do sit-ups can kill Moria, not to mention that the Shira fruit is obviously a fruit that becomes stronger with more battles and more blood. In this case, Moria's only chance of winning is high attack. Let's go. Don't worry about those little brats. I heard that this island is where pirates gather. Let's see if there are any pirates who are destined to be with us. At this time, Captain Shano spoke took a few people off the ship, and walked towards Mogu Town. Mahawk, who didn't like the hustle and bustle, was left by Captain Shano to watch the ship. Captain Shano walked in the front, with his hands in his pockets, walking with the same steps as Doflamingo. Behind him followed Shiryu, Crocodile, Barrett, and Moria. The figures of several people were taller than each other, and such a contrast made Captain Shano more impressive. Every time Captain Shano thought of rocks followed by the Golden Lion Whitebeard and others, he felt very happy. Give him a few more years. The future achievements of these guys behind him will not be worse than Kaido, Lin Lin and others. 
With such a huge ambition, Captain Shanuo and his party entered the Magic Valley town. The pirates here gathered in groups, and if they were all pirates, they had a tacit understanding. Which made this town maintain a strange balance and peace. The so-called peace also means that someone will die quietly and then will not cause any waves. In the town of Mogu, the largest tavern in the town, the tavern was full of pirates who came to drink. They shouted loudly, boasting about which island they had plundered, how many towns they had destroyed, and how many navy officers they had killed. Some pirates quarreled with each other, and some even started fighting. Chaos and noise, this is the truest state of pirates, they are the most common pirates in this sea. The seats in front of the bar counter were also full of pirates. A sturdy pirate was obviously drunk, and he put his hand around the person next to him and opened his big, smelly mouth. Hey, I say, which pirate group are you from? Do you know who I am? The person who was held by the sturdy pirate had short brown hair and a long brown beard tied into a braid with a bow. He lowered his head to drink at this moment, turning a blind eye to the harassment of the pirates. The sturdy pirate saw that he was ignored. A ball of anger suddenly rose in his chest. Choke. The pirate put one hand on the bearded man's shoulder, and with the other hand he pulled out his sword from his waist and put it on the bearded man's neck. Hey, hey, hey. Do you know, I'm a big pirate with a bounty of one million. My name is. Before the sturdy pirate could finish his words, the man in front of him suddenly disappeared in his arms. And then a not-so-thick calf appeared in front of him. Bang. Ah, the sturdy pirate flew backwards, knocking down many tables and chairs on the way, and also bumping into many pirates who were watching the excitement. Blood fell in the air, staining the dirty floor of the tavern red. The sturdy pirate hit the wall of the tavern heavily, slid down the wall, and sat on the ground, unconscious. Gudong. Among the crowd watching the excitement, someone couldn't help swallowing a mouthful of saliva. Just one kick knocked out a pirate with a million bounty. Could it be? This guy must be, Red Foot, Zeph. Who is, Red Foot, Zeph? Is his bounty high? This guy is the captain of the chef pirates. He has superb leg skills. Because anyone attacked by his kicks will bleed on the spot, he is called, Red Foot, Zeph. His bounty is 15 million baileys. What, a big pirate with a bounty of 10 million? Zeph's big move attracted the attention of the tavern. The pirates talked about it and gradually revealed the identity of this mysterious man. Hey, old man, I admire your kicking skills. Come and be my crew member. Your crew members can all come to be my chefs. Just when people were still shocked, another pirate with a height of about 4 meters stood up from the crowd. Masaka, he, he, it's actually the pirate with a bounty of 20 million. Executioner, Rocky. What, 20 million, boss Rocky. I am willing to join you. Please lead me to conquer the sea. I heard that this guy destroyed a naval branch in the West Sea, so the bounty is so high. Join your team. What kind of rubbish are you? A stupid bear who can't even taste the delicious food. Zapu was not too old at this time, and his temper in middle age was undoubtedly revealed. He directly angrily retorted to Rocky who was recruiting him. Ha 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 ha, you are so impatient to live being retorted in public by others, and being called a stupid bear. Since his bounty was announced, no one dared to talk to him like this for a long time. Although Rocky was smiling, his face was full of ferocity and anger. He held his saber in his hand, and the pistol behind him was also held in his left hand. Zapu stared fiercely at the man in front of him who was about to explode at any time. Although he cursed, this stupid bear still had certain strength and must not be taken lightly. The crews of both sides also rushed to their captains, took out their weapons, and the two groups confronted each other. The crowd squeezed aside in time to make room for them, but no one went out. After all, the fun of pirate fights is not played every day. As for being injured by mistake, everyone present is a pirate, how can they be afraid of being injured by mistake? And in this case, dealing with people who watch the fun will be attacked by a group. Just when the battle between the two sides was about to explode. Bang. The door panel of the tavern was kicked away from the outside. Bang bang. The two door panels flew directly to the bar, brushed past the boss's head hiding behind the bar, and pierced into the wall behind. The boss touched Hish looked back at his door panel, and then turned his head to look at the figure walking in from the light and shadow. 
Ahem, sorry, I didn't expect this door panel to be so fragile. I just wanted to open it. Captain Shano's voice rang out in the tavern. Although he was apologizing, everyone didn't feel a trace of guilt from Shano who walked in with a heartless pace. Everyone's eyes were focused on the young man who suddenly broke in, which made the crowd of spectators very angry. A fight was about to start. It was interrupted just like that. It was so annoying. Hey, where are you, where? A pirate slammed the table angrily, wanting to question the young man who suddenly broke in. But before he could say two words, he saw people walking in behind him. Crocodile followed Captain Shano closely, and his sharp and indifferent eyes locked onto the man who spoke first in the first instant. The powerful momentum directly choked back the pirate's unfinished words. Barrett and Shiryu also appeared from the door one after another in the silence of everyone and entered the tavern. The tavern's floor height is more than six meters, enough for two people to enter. But Moria can't get in. Old Moria saw that the captain and several others had gone in. If he stayed outside, it would be like a watchdog. No, he had to go in too. Moria, who had a firm idea, grabbed the eaves of the tavern directly from the outside. With both arms, he exerted force. Crack, wow, half of the roof was flipped out by Moria. Ha 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 ha, where's the boss? Remember to build the roof higher next time. Moria walked in with satisfaction. The pirates present all knocked their chins to the ground. The appearance of this group of people. How can one be more terrifying than the other? What is this little giant like a devil? There is also a man who looks very similar to Barrett who recently disturbed the sea, and he looks very fierce. Quote dot 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 dot. Gudong, that, that man is the, devil's heir. What, Douglas Barrett, you read it right, I have his bounty now. But didn't they say Barrett was rescued by the Shanuo group a few days ago? Masaka, E.H. The remaining half of the roof was almost blown away by the exclamations of the crowd. E.H. The pirates in the tavern had their eyes popping out of their sockets. Their jaws dropped to the ground, and they looked at the people who walked into the tavern in disbelief. Captain Shano was startled by their sudden shock and shouting, and then he couldn't help but pick his ears, feeling that his hearing was damaged. Humph, this is the cry from the weak. Barrett hugged his thick arms and looked at the pirates in the tavern with disdain. Stop making so much noise, Captain, can we chop them all off? Shiliu looked at the pirates around him with a gloomy face. Since he obtained the Shira fruit, Shiliu became more bloodthirsty and crazy, and became more enthusiastic about chopping people. When the pirates heard Shiliu's words, they covered their mouths in fear. Some even couldn't help but shed tears. Well, don't be so violent. We are adventurers who love nuclear war. How can we just kill people casually? Captain Shanuo shook his head calmly and talked nonsense with a sense of justice. Members of the Zef Pirates and the Rocky Pirates, who were just in confrontation, are also trying their best to reduce their presence at this moment. Being targeted by such a terrifying pirate group, they definitely have no way to survive. The gap is so big that it is unimaginable. There is no chance of winning. Hum. Captain Shanuo also noticed the empty area in the middle of the tavern at this time, where two groups of people were confronting each other. And the leader of one of the parties looked familiar, but he couldn't remember it for a while. Looking at the two tufts of beard combed into the shape of a braid, Captain Shanuo frantically searched for such an image in his mind. Hum, hum, a light bulb lit up above Captain Shanuo's head. I thought of it. Isn't this, Red Foot, Zef, Sanji's master? He is a great kicker and a chef famous in the sea. The pirate group he leads is also named after the chef. It's really a pillow when I'm sleepy. I was thinking about recruiting a group of chefs with great cooking skills not long ago. I didn't expect to meet the chef pirate group as soon as I landed in Mogu town. Looking at the pirates who were on the opposite side of them. Well, I don't know him. Okay, the situation has been figured out. Uncle. You are the captain of the chef pirate group, Zef. Captain Shanuo showed a self-proclaimed kind smile and walked over with a smile. Zef's crew members were as if they were facing a great enemy. At this moment, their legs kept shaking and cold sweat was flowing out crazily. But Zef, who has a hot temper and full of reckless attributes, did not panic at all. Yes, I am Zef. Although he did not show a fearful look, Zef did not say much, after all, 
he was afraid that he would anger the big man in front of him if he said something wrong. As for the word, I, this has become a fixed catchphrase. Many pirates have this habit, not to mention the hot-tempered and reckless Zeph. Captain Shano obviously didn't care about his title, but continued to ask. I wonder if Mr. Zeph plans to join us. I can provide you with the best kitchen and unlimited supply of sea kings. And as for all blue, I also want to see it. How about it? Zeph has heard this kind of thing for the first time. After all, as a pirate group composed of high-level chefs, many large pirate groups want to annex them. But the previous pirate groups were either defeated by them. It was a very wrong decision to underestimate the power of chefs. Or they escaped successfully. They couldn't beat them but they could run. The pirates would not ignore the voyage and the wealth of the island ahead and chase them all over the sea. So after countless recruitments, even three minutes ago, the 20 million pirates on the opposite side, Executioner, Rocky, were still recruiting him, and the two groups were on the verge of a fight. But Shanuo's recruitment was different. Although he didn't recognize Shanuo and others at the first time, he still saw the reactions of other pirates in the museum, and Zapu also heard the speculations about Shanuo and others. If I'm right, the man in front of him is the man who just escaped from the Navy Demon Killing Order. Sinful Warden, Shano, Bounty, 2 billion. Zapu has never seen 2 billion in his life. And the man in front of him, plus several officers on his ship, the total bounty exceeds 5 billion. Facing such an opponent, whether fighting or escaping, there will be no chance of success. Zapu is just a bit irritable and acts a little recklessly, but he still has brains. Otherwise, the title of, King of Ships, the most reckless man in the pirate world, would not be Jax, is Zeph afraid of death. It is not clear, but he does not want his crew to die with him. So facing Shanuo's strong recruitment, Zeph made a choice from his heart. If all blue is a goal, then I can accept it. Even if it is from the heart, you have to find a suitable step to come down. Captain Shanuo is of course willing to follow the advice, not to tear down Zeph, and very enthusiastically went forward to hug Zeph. Zeph was unable to react for a while, this man with a bounty of 2 billion, seems not very serious. The members of the chef pirates also breathed a sigh of relief. Fighting with these strange pirates in front of them, no, just standing in front of them, the pressure is full. Not only did they save their lives, but they also had a stronger backing from then on. And this captain actually knew the existence of all blue. It means that their dream will not end here. The atmosphere gradually became relaxed after the chef pirates joined Captain Shano's forces, and everyone felt that a brick was removed from their hearts. But Rocky was the exception. The moment Zeph chose to join Shano, his soul was in great fear. It was as if he had seen the god of death waving at him. And what he could do was to reduce his presence as much as possible, so that Shano and Zeph would forget his existence. This was the only possibility of survival. Unfortunately, things did not go as he wished. Shano, who was still hugging Zeph, suddenly turned his head and looked in the direction of Rocky and others. Just now, you were going to attack my chef, Captain Shano said expressionlessly and stiffly. Misunderstanding, Lord Shano, it's all misunderstanding. I am also willing to join your fleet. I am a pirate with a bounty of 20 million. I can be your capable assistant. Rocky was so scared that his pants were wet, and he frantically showed his value to Captain Shano. Captain, I can handle it. Zepp started to speak, he didn't want to cause trouble for the captain as soon as he got on the ship. Captain Shano waved his hand and interrupted him. Maybe Zepp didn't know that this might be more fun for Shano and the others. Well, he does look very strong. Captain Shano stroked his chin, as if thinking about the possibility of Rocky joining. Rocky's eyes also showed the joy of surviving the disaster. Before he could smile, Captain Shano's next words pulled him back to hell. It should be nice to be a zombie, chop it up, what do you think? I can't wait any longer. Captain, ha 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 ha, I agree with the captain's opinion very much. Hey, Shiryu, don't chop off your arms and legs. Shiliu, you cut off his arm. The devilish little giant Moria angrily accused Shiliu who rushed up to cut people. After getting Captain Shano's permission, Shiliu appeared in front of Rocky in an instant. The flash of the thunderstorm, 
knife passed, and Rocky's thick arm was separated from his body, and flew into the air with the huge power transmitted by the blade. The blood was even half a beat slower and did not splash out in time. Shi Liu succeeded in one blow, and black mist emerged in his body, and then the blood splashed out, as if guided by some kind of power. The black mist rushed to Shi Liu's body in midair. And the blood that was splashing at Rocky's broken arm was like opening a valve to block the flood. The blood spurted out like a waterfall. In just a few seconds, Rocky's face turned pale quickly, and then he lost his vitality. Plop, Rocky's body fell heavily on the dirty floor of the tavern. There was no trace of blood on the broken arm, only dirty wine on the ground. A pair of eyes that were about to pop out of their sockets showed his fear and confusion before his death. And all the blood in his body, not a drop fell to the ground. The black mist wrapped around Shiliu seemed to have tasted the sweetness, became wanton and arrogant, and began to change into various shapes. Shiliu looked at Captain Shano and saw that he did not respond and ignored Moria's shouting. The Black Mist received Shiliu's order. The Black Mist, which was still changing into various hideous devil shapes, suddenly scattered. All the crew members of the Rocky Pirates were covered in it. Those pirates were at a loss. They had witnessed the strange ability of the Black Mist just now. At this moment, they were surrounded by the Black Mist and were terrified. Ah, ah, some pirates screamed in fear. The surrounding Black Mist seemed to have a spirit, like a child who had discovered some new and interesting toy. They rushed to the pirate's open mouth. Some black mist flew too slowly and could not squeeze into the mouth, but they chose to drill into the pirate's body from the ears, eyes, and nostrils. But those holes were still too narrow to absorb all the black mist. Other black mists were anxious and turned around, scanning the pirate's body up and down to see if there was any place to go in. Found it. Go. The pirate who unfortunately opened his mouth had black air coming out of all the holes on his body. He didn't know when he had died. Like Rocky just now, his face was as pale as paper, even paler than Moria. The black mist was still raging in the pirate's body, and suddenly a large shadow appeared on the ground. Two black hands with protective gear grabbed the ankles of the dead pirate, and then they were about to drag it into the quagmire of shadows. The black mist flew out of the pirate's body as if it had seen something very disgusting, and threatened the black shadow in the void with its fangs and claws. But the black hand ignored the black mist and dragged the body into the black shadow and disappeared. The next second, the body appeared at Moria's feet. Moria bent down to pick up the body and fiddled with it in his hands. Moria was nearly seven meters tall, and a normal-sized person was like a toy in his hands. Moria looked carefully and couldn't help cursing. Hey, Shi Liu, you ate all their muscles and organs. Only skin and bones are left. Too much. Ha, huh, don't your zombie army also have skulls? Shi Liu glanced at Moria and said in a yin-yang tone. Zombies without muscles. The strength will be greatly reduced. Do you understand? Moria was furious. This guy is simply blaspheming zombie materials. What does it have to do with me? I'm only responsible for killing people. Shiryu also responded without any hesitation. Moria didn't want all these zombie embryos with good physical fitness to be ruined by Shiryu. Black Shadow Core A large number of black shadows appeared on the ground in an instant, almost covering the tavern and the area outside the tavern. One after another, black shadow ninjas appeared from the ground. Looking closely, there were actually a small number of troll black shadows inside. The size of the troll black shadows ranged from 4 to 10 meters. It seems that Moria has taken another step forward in the development of the black shadow core. So, the black shadows and black fog began to scramble to hunt down the remnants of the rocky pirates. And this terrifying scene also shocked everyone present. What the hell is this ability? The pirate group with a bounty of tens of millions can't resist this group of powerful creatures at all. And such an ability is extremely weird no matter how you look at it. Could it be that all the special abilities of this pirate group are from hell? Those present everyone was completely frightened, like frightened ostriches. They buried their heads to one side, not daring to look at the abilities they used, fearing that they knew too much and would be silenced. Unfortunately, they overestimated Captain Shanuo's kindness. My chef was threatened just now, are you waiting to see a joke? Captain Shanuo's death-like voice sounded again, mixed with the screams of the pirates of Rocky's remnants before they died. You, you will anger everyone. 
A pirate with a not-so-smart mind heard Captain Shanuo's threat and responded directly. Shish, the pirates around were still thinking about how to ask for Shanuo's forgiveness, but they didn't expect that a pig teammate would directly spray. Ha, huh, Captain Shanuo widened his left eye and looked at the pirate in confusion. Sure enough, there is no shortage of reckless men in any era. Then let me see your anger. As Captain Shano's voice fell, the black shadows and black mists that were originally crowded on the periphery and could not get a number to kill suddenly turned around and looked at the pirates huddled in the corner. The scarlet eyes and distorted shapes, each of them squeezed the hearts of the pirates, and they felt that they were about to break. Wow, the black shadow ninjas and Shira black mist rushed towards the pirates together. They had a common goal, to kill this group of people. The difference is that the Black Mist wants to empty all the organs of the pirates. One is to satisfy the desire for destruction and bloodthirstiness, and the other is to disgust Moria. And the Black Shadow Ninjas want to kill the pirates with a sword, try to keep the body intact, and also prevent the dead body from being attacked by the Black Mist, so the dead body will be carried away by the Black Shadow Ninjas hidden in the shadows on the ground. For a while, the whole tavern was very lively. The Black Shadow and the Black Mist chased each other, it was so lively. Captain Shano sat at the bar, picked up an unopened bottle of wine, and gulped down two mouthfuls. PFF. Then he spat it out. After being used to the fine wine in the magic barrel, drinking these inferior wines made with inferior craftsmanship was like eating devil fruit sashimi. Crocodile and Barrett also found the scene in front of them very interesting. They began to think, is there a chance that their fruit ability can create such a creation? The inside of the tavern gradually became calm. Only Captain Shano and his group were left in the tavern, as well as the members of the former chef pirate group. Looking at the empty tavern in front of them, Zeph and the others still felt like they were dreaming. Too scary. Captain Shano and his group killed people without leaving even the corpses. I heard they were going to use them to make zombies. Becoming enemies with a group of violent elements like them, let alone leaving a whole corpse, not even a hair will be left for you. Even someone like Zef who thinks he is a violent element, at this moment, only feels that his previous actions were just childish. There is no comparison at all. Is this a pirate group of 5 billion level? Too powerful. Zef's crew members were very excited. As chefs, they had been fired by restaurants many times in their early days as chefs. So they have a high level of adaptability to things like changing bosses, and they adjusted their mentality in just a moment. Anyway, we are all on the same side. The strength of the enemy will make me uneasy, but the abnormality of my teammates can make me crazy. They were in such a crazy state before, and they wanted to rush up and grab a few heads from the shadows and black fogs. As the boss, Zapu does not have such a strong adaptive ability. He finally built a big enterprise, but it was directly intercepted by Captain Shanuo, and he also got himself involved. It would be strange for Zapu to be optimistic. Although I know that Zapu will definitely have some ideas in his heart, it doesn't matter. The system can change his rebellious heart. Well, the enemies are all solved. Captain Shanuo looked at the empty tavern and didn't know what to do for a while. Originally, I wanted to come to the tavern to brag with these pirates, but I didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic and all volunteered to join Moria's zombie army. Captain Shanuo said that the pirates in Mogu Town are really different. Warm and hospitable. Then should we go to purchase some supplies? Captain Shanuo looked at the few people and asked tentatively. Captain, this task has been given to Evan and Jot. Crocodile answered, his mouth opening and closing, the cigar he was biting swinging up and down. Ah, oh, right, wait, haven't these guys already been integrated into the zombie family? Then theirs will be ours. Captain Shano was stunned for a while, and suddenly said excitedly. Well, well, that's the captain. Crocodile couldn't help but pull the corners of his mouth at Captain Shano's description of the pirates. But he still affirmed what Captain Shano said later. I'll let Mahawk take over directly. Captain Shano took out a Den Den Mushi from his arms. This was the Den Den Mushi they got by robbing and buying during the voyage. Because Crocodile, Mahawk and several others unanimously said that Captain Shano's ability to change words with flying stones was a bit too annoying. The aggrieved Captain Shano had to spend a lot of effort to get a few Den Den Mushi and gave each cadre one. At this moment, he took out the Den Den Mushi and dialed Mahawk's number. 
Moshi, Moshi, I'm Shano. Captain. Mahop didn't care about Captain Shano's abnormal behavior, because he found that Captain Shano would behave normally only when fighting. In most of the other cases, he was quite crazy, such as imitating Moria's speech when Moria was not around. Old am I. The pirates in Mogu Town have joined us. Go and take over their ships. Move all the treasures to our ships. Old am I. A more unpleasant name than Old Mo. Mahawk secretly complained in his heart. Sorry, Captain, the pirates in the port just tried to attack our ships, and now their ships have been cut off by me and sunk to the bottom of the sea. Quote dot 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 quote. Listening to Mahawk's answer, Captain Shano also fell into silence. Well, it turns out that Mahawk was not left out, and it was also very lively over there. Okay, that's fine. Click. The call ended. As the sun moved, the clouds floated and changed, and time passed unnoticed. Captain Shano, whose playfulness was satisfied, came back with a group of people. Including the team that purchased supplies and the new zombies that Moria had just created. When everyone returned to the ship, Mahawk briefly explained the situation to Captain Shano. Captain Shano didn't take it seriously at all. When everyone stood still, the ship slowly floated up, leaving the blue sea and flying towards the high sky covered with clouds. Oh, next, it's the Sky Island battle. Captain Shano's voice rang out in the sky. Hey he he he, Captain, are there any powerful enemies on the Sky Island? Ew ha 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 ha, I can't wait, Captain, I didn't expect there are such powerful enemies on the Sky Island. I really want to chop them down. Ha, ha ha, 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 this time I will let you see the real horror of the desert. Looking at the four people who suddenly shouted. Captain Shano was full of question marks. Did I say something wrong? Or did they eat something unclean? Cautious Mahawk chose to look at Captain Shano first and found that his expression was dull. Cold sweat flowed from his tall hat. Mahawk quickly lowered the brim of his hat and hid his face in the shadow. Mahawk might be the only sober person at the scene. Because the last time Captain Shanuo mentioned the word, Big battle, he was still facing the high-end configuration of the Demon Slayer order. So Moria and the others were stressed, thinking that there was a powerful unknown existence on the Sky Island. But looking at Captain Shanuo's reaction, what he just said should be simply crazy. There may not be any enemies worth attacking on the Sky Island. It can only be said to be quite interesting. Because of the ability of the floating fruit, Captain Shanuo and others don't need to wait for the huge rising current. Fly directly to the clouds. Rush into the White Sea. Puff. After the war fortress broke through the clouds, it seemed to return to the sea surface again. The clouds and the White Sea could directly lift the war fortress. Captain Shanuo looked up at the higher Bai Bai Sea and thought about several goals for coming to the Sky Island. One is to move the Golden City, Shandora, directly. No one will dislike having too much gold. It can also lay a solid material foundation for future gold gold fruit ability users. The second is to find Bika, find Enel's hometown, and then bring little Enel on board to see if he has eaten the thunder fruit. If not, he will have to go to great lengths to find the fruit. Taking Enel away from Bika is also considered saving Bika, which is also a great deed. I wonder if my Arhat golden body will be brighter. There really is an empty island. Shiryu said with some surprise, and at the same time, he felt that it was the right decision to go out to sea with Captain Shanuo. Such scenery, you will never see it in your life if you stay in the underwater prison. Looking at the sea composed of white clouds in front of them, everyone widened their eyes. Such a scene is indeed rare. Ha 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 ha, Captain, are we going to stay at the empty island? Moria asked Captain Shanuo standing at the bow with a smile. At this time, Captain Shanuo was also greedily appreciating the scene in front of him. He had never seen such a scene before. It was a completely different feeling to experience it through the screen and by oneself. Hearing Moria's words, Captain Shano thought for a moment and said. No, there is nothing worth staying on Sky Island. The attack of two primitive tribes is too boring. I thought the captain would go for a visit. Ha 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 ha, if you don't need to replenish supplies, there is no need to stay longer. Our time is still very tight. Are you going to enter the new world? Mahawk appeared in front of the deck at this time and joined the chat. Ah, the starting point of the world hegemony is to conquer the new world. Captain Shano's aura burst out, 
and the wind blew from his body, and the clothes of the people around him rustled. The people around him have become accustomed to Captain Shano's momentum. Hey, hey, hey. What is that? Something from Qinghai. A winged Shandia warrior said to his companion. He suspected that he was dazzled. How could such a large island suddenly appear in the White Sea? Hurry up and inform everyone. As soon as he finished speaking, a condensed black and red domineering aura turned into lightning and extended from the fortress. Across the sea, through the sky, it also carried Captain Shano's powerful observation aura. Before the two Shandia warriors could react, the domineering lightning came in an instant. It turned into two and hit them separately. The two instantly lost consciousness and did not resist at all. Ah, what a pity, two little people, don't know any important information. Captain Shano shook his head after releasing his aura, and read the memories of the two people with his observation aura. There was no information he wanted, so it seemed that he could only go to their tribe again. The leader should know it. After all, the huge fortress was slow to fly, so Captain Shano flew out decisively. Go to the Shandia tribe alone. Flying in the sky, Captain Shano felt a special taste. Soon after, Captain Shano arrived at the settlement of the Shandia tribe. Before the sentry at the door could make any move, the powerful domineering aura was released directly. The terrifying momentum surged out. The sky was dyed red. The Shandia people who stayed in the tribe fainted in an instant. Such a powerful domineering aura was no longer something that ordinary people could resist with their will. Captain Shano was not interested in the long-term entanglement of Sky Island. He just wanted to get what he wanted and leave. The observation color covered the entire tribe. Captain Shano felt the most powerful aura of this tribe. It should be the current chief. His memory was read remotely. Sure enough, Captain Shano knew the location of Shandora. Unfortunately, he didn't know the location of Sky Island Bika. Oh, it's really troublesome. I have to go find Ganfer. Captain Shano didn't even enter the camp, and he wiped out the entire Shandia tribe. After getting the news, he turned around and flew away. An hour later, Captain Shanuo returned to the war fortress. The Sky Islanders led by Ganfer were not much stronger than the Shandia tribe, so the results were the same. Now Captain Shanuo has obtained all the information he wants. Let's go. Captain Shanuo gave an order, and the war fortress, which had been docked for a while, started moving again and flew in a certain direction. Oh, the war fortress broke through the layers of clouds, and Shandora finally appeared in front of them. Everyone looked at the ancient and magnificent building complex in front of them in shock. The sound of swallowing saliva came one after another. The sun was shining brightly at this moment, and the buildings made of gold, under the sun, reflected a brilliant light. This, this, this. Are they all made of gold? Moria was so shocked that he couldn't speak at this moment. Moria jumped off the fortress directly, spread his bat-like black shadow wings, and flew towards Shandora. Old Mo is really anxious. I thought I wouldn't be interested in gold. Captain, as long as you are a pirate, who can refuse gold? Crocodile said with a very understanding look. Although he was talking to Captain Shano, his eyes were firmly fixed on the golden country. Ha 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 ha, that's right, how can a pirate not like gold treasures? These are all ours. Captain Shano laughed at the words, and then announced the ownership of Shandora in a domineering manner. Ow 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 ow, the crew members below shouted excitedly when they heard this. Ha 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 ha, Captain, these are actually solid. Moria flew in front of a large statue, opened his devilish mouth, and bit it hard. He came to his own conclusion. Nani, quote, the crew was shocked again when they heard this. They thought that this building complex was just covered with a layer of gold, and the inside was still a normal civil structure. Because the whole city is like this, if it is just a layer of coating, the amount of gold required is also quite huge. But if these buildings are solid gold, that is beyond their cognitive limit. Ha 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 ha, Captain Shanuo did not hide his excitement and joy at this moment, and laughed wantonly. After a while, the Shandia people and the Sky Island people who woke up slowly, they each supported their own people, and had no idea what had just happened and why everyone fainted. Is it that the, God, is angry? Before they had any idea, they saw three islands flying away in an orderly manner. Ah, am I dazzled? The island flew away. Quote, Ganfer's eyes widened when he saw this scene. 
That's Shandora. Let's have a party. Zapu and the newcomers. Tonight's party is up to you. Captain Shano's voice came from the White Sea. Look, Captain. A real chef will open your eyes. Chapter 91. The bright moon is high in the sky, and the night is as dark as ink. Above the White Sea, in the War Fortress, a grand banquet is being held. The crew members are very excited, such a large amount of gold has become the treasure of their ship. And Captain Shanuo has personally stated that everyone will get a large amount of gold. The generous Captain Shanuo has once again harvested a large wave of loyalty. Many crew members have already reached 100 loyalty, most of which are to enhance their own physique and potential. There are also a few people who have obtained devil fruits suitable for them, but they are all ordinary animal fruits. But even so, it will greatly improve the overall strength of the pirate group. Devil fruits are devil fruits after all, and ability users are unsolvable in the eyes of ordinary people. Suddenly there are more animal crew members, and they are not afraid of the weakness of sea water. Even if the ship is sunk in the future naval battle, they will not lose their combat effectiveness. Looking at the system, as long as the crew members are not particularly outstanding, they will only be given ordinary animal types, and occasionally ancient species. As for the mythical beasts, let's just rely on the lottery. Captain Shanuo even thought that if this continued, his pirate group might as well just change its name. Kaido is a hundred beasts, so what is he? Ten thousand beasts. It seems that it is not impossible. The crew members drank again, and Captain Shanuo was the first to fall. Shanuo, who had a poor alcohol tolerance, used to drink in secret or absorb it directly with domineering, but today he got Shandora. An entire golden city. So Captain Shanuo was happy and drank with everyone. The captain was present, of course everyone would not let him go, and they all went to drink with the captain, and then Captain Shanuo, who had a very poor alcohol tolerance, fell down like this. No one present felt it was inappropriate. The purpose of the banquet was to have fun. What's the point of a banquet that is not enjoyable? And although Captain Shano fell down after drinking, Mahawk had a terrible alcohol tolerance. No one who went to compete with him in drinking came back standing, except for a few giant creatures. They are not in the same league at all. With Mahawk, a pirate with a bounty of 900 million, sitting in the seat, no one can sneak attack successfully. And this is the White Sea at an altitude of 10,000 meters. If there is really an enemy attack, Captain Shano can think of the possible enemies that can pose a threat, only Golden Lion and Kaido. These two remnants of rocks, one went to the underwater prison, and the other is seeking to seize Wano country, so they naturally will not appear in paradise. This is also the reason why Captain Shano dared to get drunk. The happy night gradually passed with the collision of glasses of wine. Yoshi. This is the Bika in Ganfer's memory. The next morning, facing the rising sun, Captain Shano put his hand on his brow and looked into the distance, looking at a small sky island that appeared, and said happily. Hey, everyone, let's go down and look for a guy without wings, Enelu. He's probably in his teens. And remember to look for a devil fruit. Carpet search. Get moving. Ah, the war fortress stopped a few meters away from Bika, and everyone jumped down. The Sky Islanders who lived here were amazed at the sudden appearance of the huge island, and they all came up to watch. But when the war fortress gradually approached, a group of ferocious people stood on it. And the flag of the castle was flying a skull flag. The Sky Islanders went from curiosity to fear in an instant. Seeing a large group of people eagerly jumping off the fortress, the residents of Bika fled in all directions like frightened sheep. Hey, hey, you guys are so scary. We're here to find something, not to rob. Ha 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 ha, Captain, we didn't do anything. Anyway, be nice, we're all qualified pirates. I've received nine years of compulsory education. Nine years of education, was the captain a noble of the kingdom before? No wonder you have such a noble temperament. You're worthy of being the captain. Ahem, I can't stand you. Go find him quickly. Captain Shanuo took action himself. He thought it shouldn't be difficult to find Enel. After all, Bika is not big, there are only a few villages, and it can be left to the crew. He flew into the forest of Bika to look for the thunder fruit. At this age, Enel probably didn't eat the fruit. As for whether he could find it, it all depended on God's will. After all, there was no rule for the appearance of devil fruits. 
At this time, there were many crew members staying on the war fortress to prevent the Sky Islanders took the opportunity to board up. The cadre who stayed behind was Crocodile. Crocodile was sitting at the front of the square at this time, and Bika was a few dozen meters away. He played with the sand in his hand, thinking about how to create a creature like Shiryu and Moria. According to common sense, his natural system should be better than both of them in terms of creation. Why is it so difficult to achieve? It is easy to build a sand soldier, but how to add simple self-awareness? Ha, huh, Crocodile, who was still racking his brains to think, suddenly sensed that a little kid had boarded the war fortress and cleverly avoided the attention of the crew members who stayed behind. It's getting interesting. The one who boarded the war fortress was Enelu, who Captain Shano and others had been looking for. Enelu suddenly saw a large number of Qinghai people landing on Bika today. They did not do any damage, but asked around for his name. This made Enelu very curious, why did he let these Qinghai people know his name? Out of curiosity, Enel followed the crowd and, relying on his natural keen observation hockey, he probably didn't even know it was observation hockey, dodged all the way to the war fortress. Enel was shocked. A huge island appeared out of thin air. Was it transported by the Qinghai people? This is too powerful. I really want to join them. And the Qinghai people don't have wings like him, so if I join them, I shouldn't be discriminated against. Enel's life in Bika is not easy. He is ridiculed and hardworking every day. His young heart has long been broken, but he has no idea of destroying Bika for the time being. He just wants to escape from here now. And this group of people in front of him is his chance. As long as he sneaks onto the island, when they leave, he can leave with them. Such a big island, with one more person, no one will find it. Enel thinks his escape plan is perfect, and on the way here, because he has to avoid a large number of people looking for him, he has come from a very remote place. I also picked up a big fruit on the way. It looks colorful. It should be very sweet. I can use it as food for escape. Enelu thought happily. Enelu, who thought he had sneaked onto the island without anyone noticing, was completely unaware that his every move had already been discovered by Crocodile who stayed behind. Crocodile discovered the little devil at the first time and found that his appearance was similar to the person Captain Shano was looking for. Crocodile, who was not interested in finding someone, became interested at this moment. He didn't expect that the person they had been looking for would actually come to the door, and it seemed that he didn't intend to leave. Crocodile asked the remaining crew members to be vigilant and told them that Enelu had lurked in the war fortress and asked them to tell the people on the island. Hearing this, the crew members were sweating profusely on their foreheads. They didn't expect that a little devil would break through their defense line. Boss Crocodile, we will be more prepared. The leading crew member expressed his attitude at this time. Ah, remember to tell the captain and them that I will follow the little devil. As the voice fell, Crocodile turned into a ball of yellow sand, and a gust of wind blew away and disappeared. As expected, the people who can be valued by the captain are not that simple. A teenager can sneak in under the noses of so many of us. At such a young age, he has such strength. I'm afraid he will be a senior cadre in the future. Nonsense. Why would the captain spend so much effort to find an ordinary crew member? Hey, aren't we all ordinary crew members? Why do you say that? No, we are different. I have a dream. I must become a cadre in the future. Even the smallest cadre is fine. As Enelu sneaked along, he saw a group of tall and magnificent castles. Enelu, who had lived in a village on Sky Island since childhood, had never seen such a magnificent building. He was stunned for a moment. This, is this the house where the Qinghai people live? This, this is so cool. Enelu's eyes turned into stars, full of yearning for this strange building. But reason told him not to go in. There would be Qinghai people stationed inside. He couldn't be discovered if he sneaked in secretly. So Enelu suppressed his inner yearning, turned around and continued to walk towards the forest deep in the war fortress. Shortly after he left, a strange wind blew, carrying yellow sand to where Enelu stopped, and Crocodile's figure appeared. He looked in the direction of the castle group, and then looked at Enelu's back that was about to disappear in the forest. Once again turned into yellow sand and followed. The sun gradually set, and the time came to the evening. After searching and playing for a day, the people returned to the war fortress. 
The people of Sky Island found that this group of outsiders did not have any radical actions and calmed down the initial panic. Instead, they took out some special products of Sky Island to exchange supplies with them. This made many crew members feel novel. The initial crew followed Moria to the sea, and they did not sail for long. And the people who were recruited later, except for the chef pirates, had never been out to sea and had never had such an experience. So the crew was very excited for a while. They also found that many things that were common in the sea were not available on Sky Island. So the people of Sky Island were willing to exchange Sky Island specialties for some of their very common items. The crew happily experienced such a rare activity. When they returned to the fortress, many people were holding a bunch of specialties in their arms, including many Sky Island shells. Captain Shanuo found nothing. He walked in the forest for a long time and saw nothing except a group of wild animals. Sure enough, things like devil fruits are still hard to get. Captain Shanuo thought about the few devil fruits in his inventory and felt relieved. Just after flying into his fortress, a crew member came up and waved his hand, as if he had something to report. Although he didn't find the devil fruit, he could definitely find Annalis. Bika was so big. If he asked so many people to find it, there would be no problem. Captain Shanuo only thought that this crew member wanted to report to him about Enelis, so he simply flew over directly. Captain, not long after everyone dispersed, the kid named Enelu sneaked into our war fortress on his own. The crew stood up straight and reported to Captain Shano. Ha, huh, he showed up on his own. Where is he? Lord Crocodile followed him into the forest. Captain Shano was surprised when he heard this. He was not found by others, but sneaked in on his own. Since the word, lurking, was used, it was probably discovered by Crocodile, which also reflected that Enelu had awakened his observation hockey domineering. With a talent like Enelu, even without the thunder fruit, he can still become a strong man. What bound him at the beginning was just the narrow sky. In this world, the sea is wider than the sky, not just in terms of area. The people of Sky Island are born in the sky, but their horizons are narrower than those of the children on the sea. When you look at the sky from a well, you can't blame the frogs. The long-term solidified environment cannot be easily changed. So after Enelu boarded the ship, his talent would be further explored by Captain Shanuo, and he would get two opportunities to cheat. So even if the thunder fruit was not found, giving him the burning fruit and the cloud fruit could also make him a great man who can stand on his own. Thinking changes, and changes lead to understanding. With this thought, the depressed mood of Captain Shanuo who had been searching for a day suddenly disappeared without a trace. After thinking it through, Captain Shanuo planned to fly into the forest to see this future capable man. Before Captain Shanuo could make a move, a sudden change occurred in the distant forest. A huge blue lightning exploded in the forest. The blue arc of electricity still remained in the air, flashing constantly. Isn't this the ability of the thunder fruit? Has Enel already got it? This is strange. Captain Shanuo looked at the dazzling blue light and said to himself. Hey, hey, hey. What is that? Is it an enemy attack? Who is attacking my zombie army? Moria's angry voice sounded, and he looked at the direction of the forest viciously. The black shadow wings behind him suddenly appeared, flapped their wings, and flew towards the depths of the forest. Ha 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 ha. Did Enel run into Moria's zombie army? No, I want to go and see how his fighting talent is. As he said, Captain Shanuo used the ability of the floating fruit and also flew towards the depths of the forest. The rest of the people looked at each other, and then stopped caring and went about their own business. Anyway, they are all family members, what can go wrong? Not long ago, Enelu continued to walk deeper into the forest. What surprised him was that he had walked for most of the day on such a large island and such a large forest, but he didn't see any animals. This was a problem. If there were no animals to hunt, what would he eat? When he thought about eating, his stomach started to growl. Enelu touched his stomach and decided to eat something first, so that he wouldn't have the strength to fight the beasts. As he thought about it, he took out the fruit that was as brilliant as lightning from his arms. Enelu didn't know what kind of fruit it was, but for Enelu, who had been excluded and had a hard life since childhood, it was very good to have something to eat. Who cares if it's poisonous or not? He bit it without hesitation. Crocodile, 
who was hiding in the dark, suddenly widened his eyes. This kid carries a devil fruit with him. Enelu didn't give Crocodile any time to react, and bit it. Crocodile saw this and knew that it was too late to stop him. If I remember correctly, Captain Shano had high expectations for him. If this guy ate a devil fruit casually and it conflicted with his talent, it would probably greatly reduce his future development. This is also the reason why Crocodile's first reaction after seeing Enel take out the fruit was to stop him. But the matter was done, and Crocodile chose to continue observing. Ah, it's so disgusting. Enel had never eaten such a disgusting thing, even the food picked up from the trash can was not as disgusting as this fruit. But due to life's pressure, he had no other food on him now, so he could only suppress his nausea and eat the whole devil fruit. This scene made Crocodile's eyelids jump. He never wanted to experience the taste of the devil fruit again. He took a bite and threw it away at the beginning, but he didn't expect this kid to eat it all. After eating the fruit, Enel felt hot all over, as if his body had turned into a big furnace, with a lot of energy to be released. Ah, Enel did not resist this force, and a burst of invisible energy suddenly burst out from his body. Going to all directions, Crocodile's pupils shrank in the distance. The power of observation hockey. He could feel that the energy that spread out was covered with observation hockey, and felt the energy that was still going away. At such a young age, he had such a large range of observation hockey coverage. Is this the genius that Captain Shano must find? Although the observation hockey swept over, Crocodile was not panicked at all. No matter how terrifying this kid's talent is, how can he compare to Crocodile in the use of observation hockey? Even if Crocodile walked behind Enel at this moment, Enel might not be able to find him. This is the suppression of observation hockey. It's useless to have a wide range, and it needs higher quality to supplement. At this time, Enel had just eaten the thunder fruit. With his extraordinary observation hockey, coupled with the radio ability of the thunder fruit, his observation hockey instantly expanded several times, directly covering most of the forest. At this time, Enel was also surprised. Just by eating a fruit, such a big change had occurred in his body. He already felt that he could turn into lightning and use lightning to fight. This was the information that the fruit ability user automatically obtained after eating the fruit. Perhaps it was the information conveyed by the demon living in the fruit. The range that can be seen in the heart is wider. Enel listened carefully to the voice of his heart. As long as he wanted, he could directly see the picture within the range of the heart network. And as the hard network expanded, Enel instantly captured a lot of information. Ha, huh, so many. Could it be a flock of sheep? Could it be the legendary grassland over there? Yeah ha 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 there is food. Enel ran forward, and as he ran, his lower body turned into lightning flashes. It accelerated suddenly and disappeared from Crocodile's sight in an instant. Isn't this the thunder fruit that the captain is looking for? What luck this kid has. Crocodile saw the changes in Enel and he was knowledgeable and could tell that he had eaten the thunder fruit. Unexpectedly, the two things that the captain and his team had been looking for for a day were delivered to the door at the same time. I don't know what to say. However, looking at the direction where Enel was going away, Crocodile raised an intriguing smile. He knew that the zombie army of the little giant Moria was hiding in this forest. The zombie army is huge, and there are many good fighters among them, and they have the special characteristics of immortality. I'm afraid this little devil will suffer a great loss. Crocodile can't wait to see this lucky kid being beaten by the zombies. Deep in the forest, a large camp is located here. Because the zombies are injected with Moria's shadow army as nutrients, many of them who died recently can restore their original memories. Of course, as long as the shadow soldiers are willing, some zombies will not awaken their memories before they died, and those who are awakened can also take back the right to use the zombie body at any time. Such a large number of zombies, although they are all people who have died once, since they can still walk on the sea, they must have the dignity that people should have, and they can't just dig a hole and lie in it to sleep every day. So Captain Shano asked them to build a zombie camp here by themselves, and wooden houses were built with the efforts of the zombies. Who would like to sleep in the wild when they can live in the house? Just as the zombies were living their daily lives in an orderly manner. Suddenly, a strange breath broke in. Big fat sheep, here I come. Ah, 
A group of zombies near the entrance of the camp stopped and stared blankly at the little ghost who suddenly jumped out of the bushes. Enelu blinked frantically. What was going on? Where did these guys come from? They were obviously not human. The leading zombie seemed to feel something. He looked at a big tree in the distance. Crocodile stood there, his mouth slightly open, and said something silently. This zombie was a former captain of the guard team dug out from the cemetery of the Drum Kingdom. His physical strength was very strong. He had awakened the two-color domineering aura early. With the idea of dying and becoming nothing, he did not resist becoming a zombie for Moria and Shano to drive and fight. At this moment, he understood what Crocodile meant. It's a newcomer. Educate him a little. This leading guard captain zombie knew Crocodile, and he even remembered every member of the pirate group. In the eyes of zombies, everyone's breath was dazzling and unique, so they could distinguish between enemies and friends. At this moment, receiving the information conveyed by Crocodile, the zombie captain understood and let out a low roar. He was telling his companions around him. Several zombies who were still in a daze nearby heard the information conveyed by the zombie captain and also reacted. Then several zombies suddenly raised their heads and roared at the sky together. Roar, roar, roar. Enelu was still wondering why the group of people in front of him had no human breath at all. Suddenly he saw them roaring to the sky. This, this, this. This is not a human at all. What is this? Enelu widened his eyes and was a little terrified. Enelu, who had never heard of zombie stories, didn't know what kind of creature this was. Could this be a special monster in Qinghai? Still in shock, Enelu suddenly had a thought and his slightly immature eyes suddenly looked at the tall and strong figure in front. The next second, the figure drew out the giant axe from his waist. Suddenly, he began to rush towards him. Yeah ha 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 ha, no matter what kind of monster it is. In my eyes, they are all prey. I haven't eaten a humanoid creature yet. The young Enelu was not afraid at all, and even the zombies, active attack aroused his inner irritability and madness. His right hand instinctively turned into violent lightning and thunder, various blue streamers intertwined, arcs danced in the air, and Enelu was bathed in violent lightning. Thunder strike, he punched with his right hand, and his figure was as fast as lightning. He suddenly disappeared from the spot and instantly appeared under the belly of the zombie captain. Due to the difference in size, the belly of the zombie captain became a completely defenseless area at this moment. Enelu did not hesitate at all and the thunder punch wrapped in blue light instantly sunk into the body of the zombie captain. The zombie captain suddenly lost his target in his eyes, and the next moment, he felt that his abdomen was attacked. Boom, the power beyond the zombie captain's imagination burst out, and the violent thunder helped Enelu strengthen the attack. The zombie captain was directly beaten back a few steps, slowly raised his head, looked at the short Enelu, and smiled, as if saying, That's it. Enelu's originally confident face suddenly panicked, and he found that he could not predict the movements of the monster in front of him. He didn't know what the observation hockey was, he just thought his ability was invalid. Before he stepped back to adjust, a huge axe back appeared on his face. Wow, the axe swung violently, and Enel, who thought he was going to die, was surprised to find that his face turned into a constantly jumping thunder and lightning, and the blue light flashed on the disappearing face. In just a few seconds, the face that was chopped off was restored. What kind of ability is this? Why did I become like this? Enel was shocked, and before he could react, another axe chopped down from above. Once again, Enel was successfully chopped in half from head to toe, but he still did not feel the pain, and the constantly shining blue light repaired him again. Could it be that fruit? If the attack is ineffective, then I am invincible. Yeah ha 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 ha. I have left the category of human. I will evolve into a god. Ant, do you dare to look me in the eye? Enel looked at the zombie captain with infinite arrogance, his eyes full of arrogance and disdain. The corners of the zombie captain's mouth twitched wildly, NND, I guided you and let you install it. Enelu was practicing looking down upon everyone when a black Bigfoot suddenly appeared in front of him. Bang, Enelu's front teeth followed his body flying backwards, hit the ground, and slid for a long distance. Enelu lay on his back, blinking in confusion. He didn't expect that he would be pulled down from the altar just a few seconds after becoming a god. How could he be hit? Obviously no weapon could hit him. Hearing the sound of fast footsteps, 
Enelu quickly jumped up from the ground. This time, several zombies came together. Enelu was tense and ready for battle. Just as he was about to rush up to fight, the camp suddenly shook. And then, a zombie army like a tide rushed out from inside. Nani. Enelu's eyes were wide open with bloodshot eyes, his eyebrows were wrinkled and squeezed on his forehead, two streams of snot flowed out of his nostrils uncontrollably, his mouth was opened as wide as possible, his face was horrified. What the hell is this fight? Enelus turned around he ran, but he never thought that his feet were grabbed by a pair of dark hands. Caught off guard, he fell directly to the ground, his face directly touching the ground, smashing out several blue lights, and electric arcs jumping around his face. Enelu turned over with difficulty, and saw a tide of zombies covering the sky in his field of vision. Rushing towards him. Ah, Enelu's voice disappeared in the tide of zombies. Most zombies don't have armed color domineering, so they can't hurt Enelu at all. But such a large number of zombies pressing down is enough to crush a person. Although Enelu can be elementalized, after the elementalization, lightning and thunder still have nowhere to go. There are too many zombies. They don't need to worry about themselves or their companions being crushed to death, because they are already dead. The pile of zombies was so tight that Enel had been crushed and turned into lightning. He felt that he had turned into all kinds of strange shapes. And as the zombies squirmed, his shape was also changing. Ha, 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 ha. Crocodile, who was standing in the distance, saw this scene and couldn't help laughing. This was the most frustrated natural ability user he had ever seen. The zombies were still stacking up. They didn't often see such fun, so they participated very much. Ah, ants, you have angered the gods. Woohoo. Enel's dull voice came from the pile of zombies. A zombie felt the mouth opening and closing on his chest, and his body couldn't help but arch forward. The mouth was filled, but Enel's anger was not in vain. Blue light suddenly shone from the pile of zombies. The next second. The entire pile of zombies began to expand rapidly. There were more and more blue lights. The sound of thunder could be faintly heard inside. I am the god of thunder in the world. Boom. The huge lightning could no longer be covered up and shot up into the sky. The pile of zombies exploded. The zombies were blown into the air. A five or six meter tall human figure with blue lightning flowing on its surface appeared. The violent lightning kept exploding around him, torturing and distorting the air. Enel, who had just eaten the fruit in his teens, burst out his amazing talent under the stimulation of life and death crisis. Even Crocodile, who is also a natural ability user, was standing behind a big tree in the distance, amazed. With such a terrible talent, it is no wonder that Captain Shano must bring him on board. However, despite being amazed, Crocodile did not have any other reaction, as a super rookie monster with the same terrifying talent. Crocodile naturally has his own pride. Before meeting Captain Shano, he only had Whitebeard in his eyes. This is the pride of young monsters. Their courage and talent make them proud of everything. Even rookies of the same period with the same outstanding talent will not be taken seriously by them. Because they firmly believe that they are the strongest. Such an idea may be a bit conceited, but this is the will quality that allows them to keep moving forward. Without the courage to move forward, there will be no rapid improvement in strength. Sometimes a step back means that you can never raise your head for the rest of your life. So in Crocodile's eyes, Enelu was just a newcomer with good talent. Was he afraid that the newcomer would surpass him? Crocodile had never had such thoughts and emotions. The zombie army was dispersed by the sudden explosion of Thunder God, flew high into the sky, and then fell like rain. If the enemies were all human, Enelu's move would probably kill half of them. However, the zombies were all people who had died once, and they could not be defeated unless they were directly annihilated by the move. Especially after the two side effects of seawater and sea stone were eliminated, the zombies created by the shadow shadow fruit had a body close to steel. What? Enelu was also surprised. First, he was surprised that he had obtained such a powerful ability through a fruit, and such power seemed to be able to destroy everything. What shocked him again was that such a devastating move did not kill any enemy. The zombies that fell to the ground got up one after another, straightened their dislocated heads, and put on their dislocated arms. Another zombie's tongue accidentally slipped off. Heartbroken, he quickly picked up his tongue and stuffed it into his pocket. As a zombie, 
his flesh was falling off piece by piece, and he didn't want to become a skull, so he hid his tongue and sewed it back on when he got back. This weird and terrifying scene deeply shocked the young Enelu's mind. You evil guys, let this Thor purify you. Thor punch. Thunder turned into a small Thor, his arms flashing with lightning, and the roar of lightning piercing the air continued, with great momentum. Rushing to the area with the most zombies, Enelu was the incarnation of thunder, and appeared in the place he wanted to reach in an instant. The zombies had no time to react, and the huge blue light fist hit their faces. Boom, wow, the huge roar knocked the nearby zombies away again. But then lightning extended from the fist, and in an instant the lightning turned into an iron chain. Linking the flying zombies one by one, and the violent thunder rushed along the chain lightning. The lightning controlled them in midair. The violent energy was vented wantonly on the zombies, and under the yellow electric light, the zombies were roasted into charcoal by the high temperature. Go to hell, as he said, Enelu was about to increase the power of his attack. Several nearby zombies rushed towards Enelu. Just as they approached within a few meters, they were instantly fixed in place, and the violent thunder rushed up from their feet. More charcoal was produced. Some zombies were strong enough, and they attacked from midair at an extreme speed. The sharp machete slashed through the body of the thunder god, but it ended up cutting nothing. They passed through the body directly. The moment the long sword and the man entered the body of the thunder god, a terrifying aura pressed down, and the zombies were trapped in the center of the thunderstorm, unable to escape, and endured the most violent attack. Yeah ha 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 ha, I am the god chosen by this world. Ha, huh, Crocodile, who was standing in the distance, heard this, and he couldn't help but want to teach this kid a lesson because of his inner dissatisfaction. The wild sand rose with the wind, and the wind existed because of the wild sand, and the sand storm has taken shape. Suddenly, a strong breath broke into Crocodile's detection range. The observation color captured a familiar figure, and the sand in his hand was scattered with the wind. If the real owner is here, I don't need to do it. Crocodile took out a new cigar from his arms and slowly polished it with a golden hook. Ha 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 ha, dare to attack my zombie army on the island. Live are you impatient, quote. Moria's sharp voice came from a distance. Enelu in the form of Thunder God turned his head and saw a black stream of light rushing towards him. I am Thunder, no matter how fast you are, you can't hit me, wow. Enelu, who turned slowly, was obviously ignorant of the world and chose to take the attack of Moria who was angry. Moria punched Enelu in the face. Even if Enelu was in the form of Thunder God, Moria still had an absolute height advantage. The little giant with thunder blue light all over his body spat out a mouthful of bright red blood. Is this trick again? Did he teach it to the so-called, zombies? Enelu was still analyzing the information he got even though he was knocked out. This is a natural fighting maniac. Yeah ha 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 ha, I recognize you, white-skinned ghost. Are you ready to be punished by thunder? Quote. Enelu's arrogant voice sounded, and those who didn't know would think that he had just beaten Moria to vomit blood. Ha, huh, Moria, who had already relieved his anger after a punch, was stunned when he heard this. Did I give him a good beating? And who is the white-skinned ghost talking about? Thunder God's spear. The little blue giant grasped the void, and a violent lightning appeared in his hand, like a spear held by a human warrior. He exerted force from the waist to the arm, and the violent thunder spear flew out. Shadow Horn Spear. A shadow spear flew out from the shadow on the ground. The two met in midair and melted into each other. Yahahaha, good job, white-skinned ghost. Come and be my subordinate. Be proud of pleasing me. You've been talking nonsense from the beginning. Little ghost, you pissed me off. Quote. Mariah was angry. It was dark at this time, and it can be said that there were no shadows on the ground, or that the entire sea was in a huge shadow. Big black curtain. Shadow box. A large number of shadows suddenly flew up from the ground, everywhere, without any gaps, forming a huge black curtain that surrounded this place. And the area between Enel and Mariah had a large number of shadow bats, flying out from the ground and the black curtain in the air. The area where the two were gradually sealed off. A huge black coffin was formed. The two were sealed inside. The huge black curtain turned into a sharp giant shadow gun, stabbed wildly at the shadow box. The last time Mariah used the shadow box, he defeated Shiryu, and now it is the pro version of the shadow box. 
Even though he was completely surrounded, Enel was still not afraid. A loud roar came out of the shadow box, and it resounded through the world with the blessing of thunder and lightning. With thunder, shatter the darkness. Use thunder to break the darkness. The sound was huge and blue light burst out. But the effect was not great. Before the blue thunder continued to burst out, the huge shadow black coffin completely enveloped it. The night was a dark world, and thunder could not make a single wave. Shadow Death House Dozens of huge shadow guns suddenly accelerated, and the sound of breaking through the air spread, and the shadow guns that came at high speed pierced into the black coffin. The world was silent, and the night returned to silence. Isn't he going to die just like that? Crocodile bit the cigar that had just been polished, slowly lit it, and looked at Moria's ruthless moves, and said with a pout. In the night, Captain Shano flew slowly, looking at the huge black coffin full of shadow guns in front of him, and was also a little speechless. Moria is just firing a cannon to kill a mosquito. No matter how strong Enel's talent is, there is no time to fulfill it. However, Captain Shano was not very worried. If Enel died like this, he would not be Enel. In the world of pirates, as long as they have a name, they are all blood cows and will not die so easily. At that time, Crocodile took a, God's evasion, and was in a coma for only two months. Besides, this move looks scary, but Moria, who is also in the black coffin, can do it. And the real killer move is not the seemingly powerful shadow gun stab, but Moria's absolute rule in the black coffin. Moria is equivalent to establishing an absolute domain for himself, in which he is the only king. He can use his fruit ability at will. Even Shiryu was defeated by this move. Captain Shano saw the shadow black coffin just appearing and knew that this battle would not end easily. A protracted war, no, it is Moria's torture of Enel that will not end so easily. Even this move was used, which shows that Moria is really angry. The next step is a cat and mouse game. Captain Shano slowly landed beside Crocodile. What do you think of this new kid? Ah, he's very talented, his observation hockey has already awakened. He's only eaten the fruit for less than a day, and he's already shown this ability. It's really worth recruiting him. Crocodile exhaled a puff of mist and said in a calm tone. I didn't expect that the two things I tried so hard to find would be delivered to my door, and they even combined. Will the devil fruit really choose its host? Captain Shano raised his doubts and looked at Crocodile on the side. Ah, I've also heard such remarks, which are ridiculous. The ability users are absolutely superior to the fruit. Those who rely too much on the fruit and don't practice domineering are all trash. Ha 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 ha, I thought of an interesting experiment. What experiment? Captain, interesting experiment. The conversation between the two did not spread far under the night. Inside Moria's shadow box, the pitch black ink color covered the sky and the earth, and everything was shrouded in shadow. At this time, the black coffin was not eroded by the darkness. The blue thunder kept jumping and shining, adding color to the dark world. Yeah ha 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 ha, good moves. Enel went completely crazy. He had been bullied since childhood and suddenly he gained an extremely powerful destructive power, which made him lose his rationality. Hey he he he, kid, it's just the beginning. The next moment, dozens of huge shadow guns pierced into the dark world and approached the door of Enel. The sudden change caught Enel off guard. The black coffin completely blocked his perception of observation, and he had no defense against the incoming attack. Enel in the state of thunder god opened his eyes wide, and at the moment of life and death crisis, the alarm bells in his mind rang loudly. Enel, who had been hit by Moria, no longer dared to take any of his attacks head on. The shadow gun that came instantly did not give Enelus time to react. A shadow gun pierced the left shoulder of the thunder god form, and lightning flashed and blood splashed. Enelus snorted coldly, endured the pain and disappeared on the spot. The subsequent black gun shot into the ground of the black coffin, and the shadow merged into it. Enelis, who escaped, thought the attack was over. The huge black coffin was like a three-dimensional water surface. Under the illumination of the lightning, the entire dark boundary could be seen with ripples like the surface of the water. The shadow gun that had just sunk into the ground suddenly appeared on the dome. Enelis raised his head. He was horrified to find that the dome was covered with dense gun heads. The dark shadow curtain around him also began to fluctuate. More gun heads emerged. Ah, uh, hey, yeah ha ha ha, 
this move is a bit too outrageous. Enelis's voice was somewhat trembling, and the fear in his heart was real. The overwhelming shadow guns didn't waste time talking to Enel, and shot out at the same time. Come on. Enel opened his ability to the maximum, and thunder kept exploding around him, trying to resist the attack that had nowhere to hide. Swish, swish, swish. Enel closed his eyes tightly, ready to withstand the endless attacks that were coming. As a result, the sound of breaking through the air continued to sound, but he was not hurt at all. He opened his eyes suddenly. He found that countless shadow guns passed through his body, and the pierced places turned into faint blue light and jumping arcs. A wave of blasts passed by, and Enel was not hurt at all. Yeah ha 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 ha, I am really a god. How can a mortal's attack hurt a god? Moria looked at the infinitely arrogant Enel, and the smile on his mouth became even wider. I didn't expect that this kid didn't recognize the current situation at all. Moria's whole body suddenly broke apart, turning into countless black shadow bats and scattered away. Enel stared at the group of bats, trying to guess which one was Moria's true form. The next second, a huge long sword appeared in front of him. Ha 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 ha, there is no correct answer. Ah! The thunder giant's blood was gushing out, and a beautiful blood arc appeared in the air. The lightning flashed, dimming and brightening, as if the energy was about to run out, and it was difficult to maintain the thunder god form. Moria's figure appeared on the ground again, looking at Enel who was chopped in the air, and said with a smile. Ha 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 ha, little ghost, don't you admit defeat. Yeah ha 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 ha, I'm a god, there are always creatures on the earth who dare to face the power of thunder. You are very good, become a priest under the throne of god. Enel still spoke nonsense in the form of thunder god. It seems that you still need to rectify your bad character. Moria shook his head, intending to leave an unforgettable impression on Enel. Even Barrett, who has a bad character, has never been so annoying to Moria. After all, the clamor of the strong and the ignorance of the weak give people completely different feelings. Reflect on yourself, Moria's figure disappeared again. Captain Shano, who was already a little sleepy, planned to go back to sleep. At this time, the black coffin began to disintegrate, and Captain Shano stopped his raised footsteps. Look in the direction of the black coffin. The huge Moria lifted the unconscious Enelu out with one hand like a chicken. Looking at the blood-covered Enelu, Captain Shano couldn't help but complain. Don't let this guy stop growing because of you. Ha 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 ha, Captain, it's okay, this kid's body is simply a monster, I guess it won't take long to recover. Mariah swung Enelu in the air, indicating that Enelu was still alive and there was no problem. Ah, really, I worked hard for a day, and this kid came to me. Let's go, go to sleep. Captain Shano shook his head, no longer paying attention to Enelu, and got up and flew back to the direction of the castle. Mariah looked at Captain Shano flying away, and then looked at Crocodile next to him. He raised Enel in his hand and asked Crocodile. Hey ha 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 ha, Crocodile. Do you want this brat? Ha, huh, are you kidding? I don't know how to look after children. You knocked yourself out and you have to deal with it yourself. Crocodile looked at Enel with disgust. The blood on his body was not the reason for his disgust. Fighting on the sea, who hasn't been stained with blood? When he first boarded the ship, it was much worse than this. Crocodile simply disliked Enel's bad character. He thought he was an innocent boy, but he started to go crazy after eating the fruit. If Moria hadn't arrived in time, Crocodile might have been unable to stand Enel and personally went down to educate this bad brat. Hearing that Moria was actually planning to leave Enel to him, Crocodile immediately turned into yellow sand and disappeared here with the wind. I don't want to take care of him. Why not throw him to the small garden? Brokey and the others won't leave him to die, ha 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 ha. As he spoke, the shadow on the ground fluctuated, and Moria's figure gradually sank until it disappeared completely. The next morning, the Sky Fortress had flown away from Bika, passed through the White Sea, and reappeared above the sea. The long-lost sea made the crew excited. Although the White Sea of Clouds was spectacular, everyone was on the sea after all. It was inevitable that they were a little uncomfortable after watching it for a long time. At this moment, they all wanted to raise a toast to celebrate when they returned to the sea. However, Captain Shanuo forced them to reject it, and increase the amount of training today. 
Since the Magic Valley Town, there has been no training for several consecutive days, which is very unfavorable to Captain Shanuo's development plan. If you want to pull the team up in a short time, you need to constantly recruit extremely talented crew members and train harder. Only in this way can you become bigger and stronger. Amid the screams of the crew, a day of devilish training began. The advanced teaching class of Conqueror's Hockey Entanglement is mainly based on perception. Captain Shano briefly explained the techniques and methods of use, and the rest can only be understood by themselves. After all, they have not awakened Conqueror's Hockey for a long time, and it is not realistic to master Conqueror's Hockey Entanglement in a short time. Captain Shano did not rush for success. He handed Usopp to teacher Kaido to beat him, and he could not let him master Conqueror's Hockey Entanglement even if he was beaten to death. Some things are destined not to be learned by learning. Looking at the busy people, the guys of the former chef pirate group watched happily. After they joined Captain Shano's pirate group, they were listed in the non-combatant sequence, and they said there was no problem with this. They can sail on the sea, and they don't need to fight by themselves. They just need to cook with peace of mind. This is perfect for them. As the current chef of the pirate group, Zef is responsible for managing all the chefs. At this time, Zef, looking at the passionate training people in the square, folded his hands and turned his head to say to everyone. Let's go. Today, these guys may be able to eat a sea king, we have enough to do. Eh hey, it seems so. Such a group of animals. The chef's workload is also very heavy. I thought I could eat enough by myself as before. You just got on the ship and don't know that the appetites of the leaders such as Boss Mahawk are amazing. A few of them can handle a sea king. Really, the chefs discussed enthusiastically, and Zef saw the new and old crew members getting along harmoniously, and the big stone in his heart fell to the ground. I thought that the atmosphere on the ship of this group of notorious pirates was so harmonious, and there was no struggle for power and profit among the leaders. Everyone is working hard to become stronger, and they are all loyal to Captain Shano. This is the most terrifying. It is said that Rox, the overlord of the sea in the last era, gathered a group of monster crews, but everyone had their own plans. In the end, in the crucial battle, the crew did not help Rox instead of overcoming difficulties, they all seized their own interests and then ran away. This led to the death of Rox, a great hero of a generation. Although Captain Shano also had a group of monster-like subordinates, everyone was loyal to Captain Shano. Zef even thought that if he was a senior Navy official, he would never arrest Captain Shano. Not to mention the strength of this terrifying pirate group, just to say that if Captain Shano was executed, then the group of monsters on the ship would lose the reins that bound them. They would completely run away and turn the entire sea upside down. While thinking, he couldn't help but increase his awe of Captain Shano. As if he felt something in his heart, Zef looked up and found that Captain Shano was standing at the window of the Lord's castle, waving at him. After repeated confirmation, Zef found that Captain Shano was really looking for him. So he asked other chefs to go to the kitchen to cook first, and he went to see Captain Shano. Captain, what do you want to talk to me about? Zep asked directly after seeing Shano in the Lord's castle. Zep, do you want to become a power user? Captain Shano also went straight to the topic without any preparation. Ah, that's it, Captain. As a chef, you know, the dream of a chef is all blue. I don't want to be hated by the sea. Zep was also stunned when he heard Captain Shano's words. He didn't expect that he was called here for this matter. As a newcomer, is he so trustworthy? Or is it that their pirate group is rich and powerful and doesn't care about a devil fruit at all? What if I can help you get rid of this side effect? What do you mean? Zep asked curiously. You, eat the fruit, become a power user, will not be afraid of sea water, will not be afraid of sea stone, I can do it. Captain Shano said mysteriously. How, how is this possible? How can a capable person not be afraid of water? Captain Shano's words were beyond Zef's knowledge after more than 10 years on the sea, so he answered in disbelief. Do you think I have to lie to you? Quote dot 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 quote. Yes, a pirate with a bounty of two billion, how could he use such a thing to lie to him? If possible, I am very willing to try, if it is a fruit that suits me. Ha ha ha, don't worry, it's very suitable for you, you are simply the best chef. Bang, a wooden box was placed on the table, 
the box was opened, and a fiery red fruit appeared in Zeph's eyes. Natural system, flame flame fruit. It can take your cooking skills to the next level. Flame flame fruit. Natural type, Zapu muttered. As a pirate who traveled on the sea, he certainly knew how rare natural type fruits were. As for the flame flame fruit, he had never heard of it. Not everyone has seen the devil fruit illustrations. But looking at the fiery red fruit in front of him, just by listening to the name and looking at the appearance, you can know that it is a fire controlling fruit. If a chef has mastered the ability to control fire freely, it must be a huge improvement. The first thing Zapu thought of was how the flame flame fruit could improve his chef career, rather than how it would change his own strength. After all, there are so many monsters on the ship, let him, a cook, charge into battle. I'm afraid the enemies are not enough for them. Looking at the fruit in front of him, Zapu no longer hesitated, picked up the fruit, and bit it. Woo! Zapu ate a piece of fruit flesh, and his expression was extremely ferocious in an instant, as if the whole person was greatly shocked. This, this, this is the most disgusting thing I have ever eaten. Zep roared to the sky. From time to time, flames spewed out of his mouth, like an angry fire dragon beast. Boom! A raging flame rose from Zep's legs, and his legs were wrapped in red. If the title of, Red Feet, was a bit abstract before, it is now well deserved. With powerful kicking skills and the powerful attack of the flame flame fruit, he should be at least as strong as a general star. Captain Shano is really unsure about this, after all, Zep has not shown his strength too much. And the voyage in paradise does not represent anything. In the original work, whether it is the early crocodile in Moria, or the eleven supernovas of the later worst generation. They are all existences that can walk sideways in paradise, but after entering the new world, they are greeted by the beating of society. Failure is like a landslide, unstoppable and unavoidable. So Captain Shano doesn't know what Zeph's specific strength and potential are. And he let Zeph eat the flame flame fruit just to satisfy his curiosity. Is it really the fruit that chooses the owner? Now it doesn't seem to be the case, at least it doesn't work for Captain Shano. Even if this fruit is going to appear again in a few years, it has already been eaten by Zeph. How about it, Zeph, do you want to become the main force in battle after eating the nature fruit? Ah, Captain, you just said that eating the fruit is for better cooking. Fighting is not something that a chef should do. And I'm past the age of fighting and killing. Zeph answered bluntly, fighting. Why do you have to do it yourself when you can just lie down every day? Captain Shano's mouth twitched. The old guy is different. He won't be excited by a few words. How about this? If you are just a chef, it will be a waste of fruit and your kicking skills. You can be the kicking skills instructor on the ship. That's it. Captain Shanuo said a new idea, and did not give Zapu a chance to defend himself, and made the decision directly. As for kicking skills, of course there is no problem, but my requirements are very high, well, there should be no problem. When Zapu was the captain of his ship, he thought about teaching his kicking skills to his partners. As a group of chefs, sailing on the sea, it is always good to have an extra skill. However, his partners did not want to work hard to learn, and their talents were limited, so they could not really learn this kicking skill. I wanted to say that my training requirements were very hard, but when I saw the daily training intensity of the crew today, I felt that I should be overthinking. His training intensity may not be as good as daily training. And as he gets older, his own chef-style kicking skills will be completely inherited, which is unacceptable to the person who created the school. So when he heard that Shanuo was asking him to be the chief instructor of kicking skills, Zapu was still very excited. With a large number of crew members, there will definitely be suitable people who can learn his skills. Oh, right, let me teach you the skills of the six styles of the Navy first. The storm kick, shaving, and moon steps are very challenging for the leg skills. If you learn a few moves, your strength can be improved. Captain Shanuo suddenly remembered the six styles of the navy that he had mastered, so he planned to teach it to Zapu. If that's the case, I'm very grateful. Don't be too happy, I don't know how strong you are, you need to prove yourself. Zapu. Now, besides those monsters, there are also cadres there are two junior cadres. Zapu, you must at least be able to fight against them. Otherwise, you should not be the head chef anymore. Just practice with peace of mind. 
Captain Shanuo threatened lightly. Ha, huh, other things don't matter, but the head chef position must not be given up. Those little devils are far from riding on my head. Quote. When Zapu heard that his position as head chef was going to be removed, his passion was rekindled. Let a group of people whose cooking skills are not as good as his own to command. That is simply the biggest insult to Zapu's decades of career as a chef. Unacceptable. Where are those two cadres? Who? Let them come out and fight with me. Quote. Zapu was already in an excited state, yelling for a fight. Captain Shanuo's eyes were shining. He thought that Zapu had lost his passion due to his age. It turned out that he had not found the right direction. When the position of head chef was mentioned, his long dormant heart was ignited. Captain Shanuo looked at Zapu in front of him with interest and said slowly, Don't be anxious, you should digest the fruit ability first. Those two are also capable people, and their domineering is not bad. I don't think you can be their opponent. Quote. The irritable Zeph lost his temper instantly. Being told by a pirate worth two billion that, you can't do it, was really uncomfortable, but the facts were there. Zeph's 15 million Bailey bounty was completely ignored by this ship. After calming down, Zeph finally began to face the current changes. This ship is carrying so many monsters, but they haven't rushed into the new world in a hurry to seize territory while Roger is dead. It can only mean that these people have bigger ambitions. If I am still the same as before, just thinking about traveling the sea with a group of chefs, then there is a high probability that I will be left far behind by everyone in the subsequent voyages and become an inconspicuous little character. If the goal of this ship is to conquer the world, then I am the chef of the world's strongest force. As a chef, how can I be indistinguishable from everyone else? If as a chef, I must fight, then I must become the strongest chef in the world. After Captain Shano's brainwashing, Zeph also joined the devil training team. With his own combat ability and the newly acquired flame flame fruit, Zeph's strength has been greatly improved. Captain Shano was very pleased to see the hardworking crew members. Finally, it looks like something, and the scale can continue to expand. The new world will definitely go there. If we recruit a few more crew members we like, we can directly cross the Red Earth continent and enter the new world. Moreover, as a powerful pirate group that has just risen, it is impossible for them to enter quietly. When the time comes, we will contact the newspaper and give the world another shock. Who should we attack? Captain Shano stroked the slightly exposed beard on his chin and thought quietly. As for the next place to go, it is the island with the most developed shipbuilding industry in the world the Seven Waters City. With his own floating island, Captain Shano does not need a ship for the time being, but as his power expands, Mahawk and other cadres will sometimes need to lead people to perform tasks alone. At that time, a large number of pirate ships must be owned to meet the smooth operation of the entire pirate group. So the seven water capitals must be visited, but Captain Shano has no patience to wait for them to finish building the ship, so the best way is to snatch the shipbuilder. It is better to teach a man how to fish than to give him a fish. Tom's words are a good choice. The ox-horned fishman is a race with strong fighting talents, and he is extremely powerful. Lifting a ship with one hand is a routine operation. If such a guy is allowed to be executed by the world government, it would be a great waste of talent. And Frankie should have been adopted by Tom. Buy one get one free, no matter how you think about it, it is not a loss. Frankie's development in the field of science is very useful for Captain Shano. Because he has seen artificial soldiers, Captain Shano feels that such existence is very useful, which can ensure absolute loyalty and absolute obedience to orders, and there is no need to worry about losses in external wars. Moreover, higher-level androids, such as pacifists, Seraphim, and Sanji brothers of the Vinsmoke family, are all powerful. For most pirates, these are insurmountable mountains. It can make up for the lack of middle-level combat power to a large extent. The powerful Seraphim can even catch up with the top-level combat power, which is enough to show that technology has a bright future in this world. It can even surpass the Devil Fruit. After all, even Kaido's Blue Dragon Fruit, such a powerful mythical beast fruit, can be copied by Vegapunk. I can't imagine how terrifying it would be if Kaido was mass-produced. Blackbeard would look embarrassed when facing Hawkeye's Seraphim. It can be said that this is his nature, just like Kazaru's habitual surrender. But Blackbeard, 
who has become one of the four emperors, will never show such an expression when dealing with some unknown people. I dare not say how strong Seraphim Hawkeye is, but at least he will not be weak. And these are all products of technology, so Frankie's development potential depends not only on his combat power, but also on his potential in the field of science. Captain Shano was thinking about the next arrangements. Suddenly, above the small garden behind the war fortress, thunder exploded, clouds rolled, and there was a faint sign of annihilation. However, this terrible momentum came and went quickly. Before Captain Shano set out to check, the sky returned to calm, blue sky and white clouds, and a peaceful scene. Well, I hope Enel didn't provoke the dignity of the Elbaf warriors. It would be best if it was Wu and the others who did it. Oh, forget it, let's go and take a look, don't really beat him to death. Captain Shano still chose to go and take a look. The five giant creatures didn't know Enel, and they didn't know Captain Shano's intentions. If Enel's foul mouth offended the Elbaf giant's reverse scale, I'm afraid there would be no good end. Besides, the three Kongs have been learning from the two giants since the day they were born, and have been living together since then. They have a deep relationship and it is impossible for them to protect a stranger. Anyone who knows about Enel's existence can clearly see that the lightning cloud just now is the masterpiece of his fruit ability. However, he left the stage so quickly, probably because he was knocked unconscious by the instantaneous beating. Ha 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 ha, I didn't expect this guy to recover so quickly, but it seems that his bad character has not been corrected at all. At this moment, Moria, who was practicing the king's hockey entanglement hard, looked up at the direction of the small garden. Thinking of the bad guy last night, he was no longer so angry, but he had to admit that he really deserved a beating. In the small garden, hey, Donley. What if you beat him to death in one go? Brocky's blaming voice sounded, I haven't done anything yet. Lying on the ground looking at the unconscious Enel, Brocky was still furious. Looking at the unconscious Enel, he had no place to vent his anger. The act of whipping a corpse was not in line with the beliefs of the Elbaf warriors. Sorry Brocky, I didn't expect that a guy who could say such big words would be so vulnerable. Donley still stared at Enel on the ground fiercely, responding to Brokey's roar. This morning they found a fainted little ghost on the ground. The kind giants took care of him and took out the herbs they stored and fed them to Enel, which helped him relieve his injuries and regain consciousness early. Just after Enel woke up, he saw several huge faces and was scared to shout. Donley and Brokey smiled and comforted him, but Enel, who had calmed down, immediately became arrogant saying that he was the noble god of thunder. It's nothing to say that. Brokey doesn't care about a boastful person. He has lived for so long and has seen all kinds of people. But then, Enelu started his suicidal operation. He threatened that creatures like giants were obviously heretical mutants and should become slaves at the lowest level and serve him, the supreme god. The gunpowder barrels in the hearts of the two giants were instantly ignited, and the terrifying momentum spread out, frightening the creatures on the entire island. Enelu was also shocked by these two extremely terrifying momentums, and beads of sweat slid down crazily. What's going on? Are there all these monsters on Qinghai? How can one be stronger than the other? Obviously, with his strength, he can destroy the Sky Island. The strongest Thor form instinctively broke out in his body, intending to fight hard, but a big sword chopped down and Enelu lost consciousness directly. It's good to be young, you can continue to sleep after waking up. What should we do? Throw him out to feed the dinosaurs? Dongli scratched his head and asked. Why not feed them three? They've all become skinny from hunger lately. Brocky said, angry but with nowhere to vent. The three King Kongs beside him were confused. Skinny, who got skinny? Shared among three people, it's so small, not even enough to fill the gaps between teeth. Also, who wants to eat people? That's too much. The three King Kongs were strongly protesting in the small garden. They thought Brokey's words seriously damaged their dignity. The three King Kongs rushed up and pressed Brokey to the ground. After several months of hard training, the three of them were very powerful with the most extreme talents on the sea. As Brokey and Donley stayed on the ship for longer, their loyalty was also rising. It has reached 85 at this moment. Although it is not fast, considering that the giants have their own beliefs. It is very difficult to force them to join an existence that is close to belief under the belief that has been passed down for thousands of years. 
And when the loyalty reaches 100, no matter what belief it is, it must give in to Captain Shano. This is the charm of cheating. With enough loyalty, Donley and Brokey already have a sense of belonging to the pirate group. And the daily life with Wu makes the relationship between the few people very close, plus the promise they made with Captain Shano. Under the combined influence, Brokey and Dongli have taught the three giants the secret skills of the giants. So Brokey was attacked by the three giants and could only fall to the ground in humiliation. The four giants wrestled together on the ground, and violent dust rose up. The forest suffered an unexpected disaster, and the whole small garden could feel the tremor. Dongli looked at the four giant creatures wrestling together, but he took the big sword to push Enelu aside to prevent them from being accidentally crushed to death. If he wanted to kill Enelu, he would have killed him long ago. Dongli just wanted to teach this arrogant guy a lesson. So he would not watch him being crushed to death. Woohoo! It's so lively! Captain Shanuo's voice sounded in the air, and several people stopped their actions and looked up. Captain Shanuo was floating in the air, watching them rolling on the ground with interest. Captain Shanuo, Brokey greeted Dongli. Roar, roar, roar. The three King Kongs who got up from the ground roared excitedly. Not bad, very passionate. I came here to pick up this kid this time. He should be annoying to you. Captain Shanuo went straight to the point and pointed at the unconscious Enel on the ground. Captain Shanuo, is this guy also a member of the ship? His character is very bad. I can't help but teach him a lesson. Brocky said angrily at this time. Ha 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 ha, no problem, Brokey. You can teach him a lesson anytime you want. But this guy's character does need to be corrected. I will find him a good teacher. Oh, since Captain Shanuo said so, he must be able to correct him. Not to mention his character, his strength is really good. He is already very strong at this age. Dongli heard Captain Shanuo's explanation on the side and believed Captain Shanuo's words very much. Since the captain said it can be done, it must be possible. By the way, Brokey, Donli, do you want to gain the power of devil fruits? I have a way to let you gain the power without being hated by the sea. How about it? Captain Shanuo patted his forehead and suddenly remembered that he still had a few devil fruits in his hand, so he asked the two giants. Devil fruit. The great Elbaf warriors never need to rely on external power. Only strong muscles are the most trusted power of the giants. Brokey shook his huge head after hearing what Captain Shanuo said, and refused without hesitation. Me too, Donley agreed in a serious tone. Well, okay, I believe you will awaken more powerful powers later, and devil fruits may not be obvious to you. Captain Shanuo looked at the loyalty displayed on the heads of the two giants and knew that they were not far from cheating. If you turn on my cheat, you are my people. In that case, I will take this kid away first. I have arranged a teacher who is absolutely suitable for him. You will definitely see his transformation. Captain Shano remembered the purpose of his visit. He hooked his finger, and the ground where Enelu was lying began to tremble. Then the soil broke away from the ground and flew towards Captain Shano with Enelu. Sword, take some time to find Mahawk and let him teach you the skills of conqueror's hockey. You can come back and teach them too. Captain Shano, who was leaving, looked at the three big eyes looking at him eagerly, and suddenly remembered that the three of them had also awakened Conqueror's Hockey. So he quickly arranged for them to take the Conqueror's Hockey course. You may not be able to learn it. But you have to know that there is this thing, in case one day your brain short circuits and you suddenly learn it. And let Mahawk teach them, which can also consolidate Mahawk's previous learning. As the saying goes, teaching and learning benefit each other. Knowledge can only be put into practice if it is in and out, and it can only be used at a high, advanced level if it is in and out. After arranging the three Kongs, Captain Shano took Enelu away. Now he needs to arrange a teacher for him. As a person who has never taken professional education classes, Captain Shano doesn't know how to scientifically teach this psychologically distorted child. But he knows that the best way to deal with a naughty child is to find someone who doesn't care that he is still a child, and this person is also a lunatic. Halfway through the flight, Enelu woke up slowly and saw himself floating in the air. In front of him was a Qinghai man who was not tall. After seeing the little giant Moria and the real giants, he thought that the strength of the Qinghai people was related to their size. So the man in front of him must be much weaker than the previous two people. 
A great opportunity for a sneak attack. Enelu thought excitedly in his heart, his heartbeat accelerated violently, and there were arcs jumping on his fingertips. Ahem, if you dare to attack me, you will only face one result. Captain Shanuo, who was flying in front, turned his head and looked at Enelu who was eager to try, and said with a smile. What do you think the result will be? The bone-chilling cold spread throughout Enelu's body, as if he had fallen into an ice cave. The scorching sun and the kind smile of the man in front of him could not bring him any warmth. Enelu did not know what the observation hockey he mastered was. But now his observation hockey began to be launched uncontrollably and madly, telling Enelu that the person in front of him could not be touched. He would die. Enelu gave the answer in his heart, so he chose to shut up for the first time after obtaining the thunder fruit. Lying on the ground, he did not even dare to move. Looking at Enelu who was honest in an instant, Captain Shanuo was still very satisfied with his momentum. Subduing a naughty child is the most refreshing thing. I'll take you to see someone later. He will be your teacher. You will become stronger under his guidance. If you want to become a godlike existence, endure the pain and practice hard. Remember, you are already a member of the ship. You must learn to love your companions. Captain Shanuo instilled his educational philosophy. As for whether Enel listened to it or not, it was unknown. Enel suddenly felt his body begin to fall, and couldn't help but look down. A tall man with exaggerated muscles stood on the ground, with golden hair draped behind his head, and a violent breath came to his face. Hey, Barrett, this kid is left to you. Put teaching aside first, correct his bad character first. At least he should be as rational as you. Captain Shanuo threw Enel directly over. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.